Yo. <laughs> you never been like Virginia? Not I had a funny. Yo, let me tell you a funny story real quick. So I had went. To <laughs> I feel like we're on a radio show. <laughs> Legit. Yo, this is the. Th- that's the vibe though. So me and like a group of my homegirls went down to DC to celebrate my old best friend's birthday, and fire. we ended up going to this club down in DC and linking up with some dudes that were from Virginia. Don't ask us why we did that. But they had was like, oh, we're going to have an after party at the hotel, blah, blah, blah. Mm-hmm. So we was just like, fuck it, let's go, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Yo, girl, all I remember was it was like three cans of, like three jar containers of like moonshine because they were from Virginia. Damn. And they were like, yo, but each jar had like a different like fruit. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it had That's peaches. Had it had honey. one had peaches, one had cherries. And other had, the other one was just straight up moonshine. But I had the peaches one. <laughs> Yo, peach is everything, so that was probably me. All I good. remember was us that leaving. Peach Are you fucking French, Tropicana? What the hell? <laughs> I didn't mean to say Yo. it like that. You had to call me yeah. out. So, Gambino. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your boy, Soul Wolves of the Job and Tears podcast, and I hope all is well. As you guys know, this weekend is our NXT viewing party, Jobber Slam 5 after party, and Sunday is our SummerSlam viewing party, hosted by Peter Rosenberg of Hot 97 and Stat Guy Greg. So, we're going to be doing something special this weekend. This Saturday, we will be raffling off Battle Club Pro tickets, also Evolve tickets, and brand new latest WWE Funko Pops. But it's not over there. This Sunday, for SummerSlam Viewing Party, we will be raffling off more goodies. We'll be raffling off a replica Attitude Era belt. You heard that correct. A replica Attitude Era belt. We will also be raffling off Raw MSG tickets. You heard that right. Raw MSG tickets. And we'll be also raffling off one of our latest Jobber Tears t-shirts and the latest WWE Funko Pops. Ladies and gentlemen, this weekend is going to be, what can I say, phenomenal. So I expect to see every one of you guys at our NXT viewing party and our SummerSlam viewing countdown. party. Go ahead, count down. Five, four, <laughs> That's three. That's too fucking fast. <laughs> I'm mad excited, too. Five, four, three, two, <laughs> Like this is New Year's Eve. <laughs> I feel like that's how every episode should start. It's just just giggles. Like. That's crazy. <laughs> Those that are watching, good evening, Jobber Nation. It is the big four. The original squad is here, guys. OG3. Ooh. Yo, oh, we should have definitely got the OG shirts. Yeah, that's crazy. We should get oh. OG3 shirts. That's fine. We should have. Damn, shout outs to AJ Styles in the club. <laughs> they stole it. The OC. <laughs> First of all, they're good. It's the OG, not the OC. It's not the Orange County. (laughs) Oh, it is the OC. Yeah, yeah. The original club. Oh, original club. Yeah. I don't know why they Yo, when they first said that, I thought, I was like, it's not Orange County. What the fuck is this about? Yeah, that's what it felt like. But those that are watching on Facebook Live, thank you for joining us. As always, you can follow um, at the Jabba Tears Podcast on the Facebook group, Instagram, Twitter, Jazz, all that jazz. I'm going to have each lady once again introduce themselves, give their, you know, social media handles and all that. Let's get our housekeeping out of the way. So I'm going to start to my immediate, because Tatiana never likes to go first. I do. Yeah, so, <laughs> so I'm going to start to my left. See, yeah, I remember. Um, so I'm going to start to my left. Yeah. Um, hey, everybody. I'm Haven Rain. Back. Back again. Back, Back at it again. Flush. <laughs> <laughs> Tatiana. Oh, that's it? That's yeah. what you're saying? That's oh, I it. mean, you don't want to tell the people where to follow you, where to find oh, you. Oh, I thought we did it at the end. You can, can follow do both. me <laughs> on Instagram. Listen, there's people that, listen, people only listen to the beginning and the end. That's, that's a fact. So. Okay, you can find me on Facebook, Haven Rain. That's H-A-E-V-Y-N-R-E-Y-H-N-E. And then. <laughs> that was mad Instagram. letters. It was. <laughs> I just stared at her. Because <laughs> you were trying to follow the letters. I thought Tatiana, like, glitched. She was just like, hmm? <laughs> And then on Instagram and Twitter, it's H A E V Y N underscore R E Y H N E. There you go. It's not that many letters. Follow, <laughs> follow, follow. There's mad letters in that. Like, and the fact that you got an underscore in the between the math as, as the imaginary space. It's, I needed the space. I needed the space. <laughs> she did. She didn't like it. It's All right. Really to my right. This is Charlemagne. No, I'm kidding. No, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> 
Hey everybody, it's Tatiana Taylor. You can find me on Instagram at T A T Y A N A T A Y L O double R. Never mind, Tatiana got the longest. <laughs> it has way more letters. It's way more letters. And yeah, um, yeah. that's it. <laughs> okay. Um, before we do get started, I do want to let everyone know that is watching live that this weekend we are heavy at Legends. Saturday night we will be we will be viewing um, NXT Takeover Toronto um, starting at doors open at six. The show starts at seven. Um, so please come out and support Saturday night. Um, and then Sunday is the big day. It's the hottest summer party. I mean. It's left New York, but, you know, we're still going to make it live and in color at Legends. Um, starting off with Cheap Heat Live. So Peter Rosenberg and Stat Guy, um, Greg, will be doing their live podcast at Legends at 530. Um, so tickets are on sale on eventbrite.com. And then um, following that, we'll go right into our Summer Sam viewing party at Legends. We are at legit almost 400 RSVPs. Every time Wilkins Ooh. updates me, I'm like, where are all these people oh my God. from? Like, like last summer. who the fuck are all these people? But we appreciate you guys for coming out and, and RCPing. So mm -hmm. make sure if you have not already RCP to make sure that you do on Eventbrite because we will be closing the list very, very soon, if not within the next 24 hours. Um, so it's super important. Tell a friend to tell a friend to RCP. Please arrive early, even if you, once again, are not going to join the live podcast. Um... We do encourage early arrival. We are not going to be saving seats. And RSVP does not guarantee a seat. So just know that. It's don't be on CP time. Be on time. Um, <laughs> doors will open at 5 o'clock. Um, and the show will kick off. I do believe pre-shows at 5.30. Um, and then the show will begin at 7 o'clock. So please make sure to come out and support um and those that are in the tri-state area friday night hog house of glory will be live um at amazora so come out support independent wrestling and you get to see what is i guess claimed to be the last sighting of the young bucks on the independent scene going against private party and then also my guys um new york wrecking crew will be going against lax and many many other matches oh that is so dope i did not know that super dope super proud of I'm them i'm so proud of them i thought you said uh, dumb i'm like what <laughs> <laughs> like, she no. out here walla walla yeah. Um, no, like, so that's once crazy. again, it's going to be a really good weekend. Um, so just come out, support, come, you know, it's a good time to get together with some wrestling friends and, you know, do the damn thing. So, um, <laughs> <laughs> that's such a classic line. I know. Do the damn thing. <laughs> um, so let's open up. It's been some time, ladies, since we've all gotten together and talked about some good old wrestling. Yum. So my question to you guys, is we can just chop it up for like the first like five, 10 minutes get everybody you know situated and acclimated because we're gonna go right into our predictions for both nxt takeover and for SummerSlam. um but what are your thoughts on the current state of wrestling like as broad as that question is um a <clears throat> lot you know has transpired you know we have you know aew going around you know you have other promotions you got ring of honor was in town not too long ago mlw was in town not too long ago um so what are what are your thoughts on the current state of wrestling? Don't all go at once. I'm gonna make this short and sweet. <laughs> nah, um, <laughs> I think it's good that we have AEW and other promotions because I think it'll force WWE to like make a change, okay. which I think they're already trying to do now with like hiring Paul Heyman to oversee Raw. I wish they did that with SmackDown because SmackDown is suffering right now. I, they I don't think so. SmackDown last night. I mean, I only caught the last hour, but. To, they were. I read to earlier today that <laughs> it Rowan. is gotta kill Roman. <laughs> yeah, like I wanted it to be anybody but Rowan. No, but that's the that's the beauty of it, and I'm telling you, it's gonna roll out to it being Rowan saying like, Daniel Bryan told me to do it. Well, yeah, I can see that. So and, then and we that, get Roman and Daniel Bryan again. Right, and and I feel like if it, I don't even remember Daniel Bryan versus Roman happening before, but it yeah. happening now. Oh, oh was that fast lane? Yeah. Oh, but. <laughs> See, but it's not memorable. Yeah, well, we already know how I feel about Roman. So, wow. but keeping the same energy, sis. Team Roman, team Roman. Um, <laughs> but those are. But as as a great example, it doesn't give me that like memorable. Like, oh my god, that happened. But I feel like the storyline that now could be produced from that mm -hmm. can now make it a memorable. Because now yeah. Dan Bryan you know, is actually a heel. 
and he's right. a, he's a good he's a good he's heel. A great heel. It's a great heel. Yeah, I love him as a people, heel. you know, and then the whole come on, you didn't get I got a little emotional with Kofi's whole like promo segment. I was like, Yeah, yeah. I was like, that. Yes, mm-hmm. like you talk about that. And yeah, then I don't know. acknowledge that. I mean I mean I just feel like they they like you said, I think they're taking the right steps to make the product a little bit better, make it more interesting. But change doesn't happen overnight. And as sure. wrestling fans, we get impatient as fuck. So, I mean... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> Tatiana, I, what are your thoughts on the current state of wrestling? Um, Well, like I guess I do. I'm liking like, what they're doing now with Raw and stuff, even though they pissed me off with that whole Brock Lesnar segment with Seth. You mean when he murdered Seth Rollins? Yes. Like, I literally was like, oh, can you just stop already? Like, stop. He's dead. Like, he literally, he's dead. He I was like, he's spitting out blood. He's dead. But um, I have a friend who's like an <laughs> AEW obsessed. So I'm moving into like learning about AEW and ROH, which you know, like, I'm usually just WWE out. So I'm learning more about different other things. Aspects. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm broadening my good. horizons. There's, I'm proud know, of myself. It's I'm proud of you too, because <laughs> you know you be on so everybody. You know, I mean, everybody has their niche. You know, at the end of the day, we all came into loving wrestling because you know the foundation really for most was WWE. So mm-hmm. to have another alternative and having different outlets and understanding that you know wrestling is, I think, at probably the best place it has been probably over the last ten years. Um, I think is is a really good statement. My question to you ladies then is what do, what are your thoughts on the current on WWE's current state in the women's division? Because a lot of people <coughs> hang on they no names, but a lot of people are out here, you know, spreading propaganda about it hasn't been the same since Ronda. Ronda carried the division and blah, blah, blah and all type of shit. But what are your thoughts, Miss Haven? What do you what do you think about the women's division? Um, right now, I feel like they're trying a little bit now, like the last month, to fix it. But when Ronda left, I do feel like it kind of like just fell apart. It was literally just Becky and Charlotte. They didn't know what they was doing with Bailey. I mean, now she has a title or whatever. But like, I don't know. I think they're trying now. But before, I was like, oh, there's women here. I forgot we have a women's <laughs> match. Like no one was really being showcased besides Becky. And then before that, well, it was before Ronda. I mean, it was Becky just Lynch. Alexa. It and even Alexa. now, Alexa's back. And I'm like, for what? She's Wait always a hurt I off love and on. Alexa. She's you, hurt off and on. You got to you got to look at the bigger picture about Alexa because Alexa is a gem, a treasure. What? Trash. No, she's not trash. No, it's Alexa is in a position where she can help catapult a career like Nikki Cross. I feel like the two of them together, and I and I've probably said this, you know, numerous times on our Facebook group is because someone else I think mentioned like, oh Alexa again, like why? And it's just like, but why not? You know what I mean? It's like you have someone um, that's amazing on the mic. You have someone that can carry a story. You have someone that can that at the end of the day could be can help Nikki once again get on that different platform because I already saw the seeds planting when they were like the best friend thing. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I said, you know, that's not a bad idea because <laughs> once again with Alexa, she's been more, you know, with the concussions and stuff, they yeah. probably have had hey live. <laughs> um, they probably have had concerns about her. And I think that was the yeah. same reason why they put Rowan with Daniel Bryan mm-hmm. because they don't take as much bumps if they are a tag team. True. So I think them as champions, I mean, people complain about the Iconics, but I actually like the Iconics because they were a real tag team. I like yeah, them, yeah. but like, they didn't <laughs> they did do nothing. nothing with them. And it sucks because they were like, they were supposed to go against the Bellas, but like Nikki Bellas injured for life. Yeah. And I was like, they left them in limbo. And like, that really sucks for them because they didn't get to do shit. Like, they did nothing. At they were all fun. The they had their little backstage segments that was funny, but, but yeah, they didn't get to wrestle. The titles, they yeah. Did like, but, but like, do you, do you honestly think the titles were necessary? For them? Just in general. Um, I did not. I didn't think it was that many women to begin with. You throwing teams together now. I didn't think so. Someone agree with you saying Alexa with Nikki is dope in a good way to protect Alexa from her string of concussions. Absolutely. You got to look at the bigger picture. <laughs> so, I said, what are your thoughts on the women's division? And, and where do we go from here? Because you know you're all about you know your, your Bellas. But guess I what? Am. They're, they're, they're not, done. They're not. They are not I know. Here, They're so. not here anymore. I'm really sad about that. Uh, I love Alexa Bliss, as y'all know. Like I love Alexa Bliss and Carmella. So I see. I want them to be like more. Arch- I mean, Alexa Bliss is always g- getting titles and shit. But like I read that Carmella is like due for a 24 7 title run too. Oh. Uh, I read that and I was like, yeah, Carmella, like take it from our truth. 
I mean, that 24 <laughs> 7, man, hilarious. people were sleeping on that. And I think now you can appreciate it a little bit better. Mm-hmm. Um, what else? Um, question to you guys before we do jump into our predictions and talking about NXT, because NXT has been on a fucking roll. <laughs> um, who do you think? And it was a question I asked Peter Rosenberg on our um, last episode on the Jabba mm-hmm. TS podcast. Who do you guys think uh, will be the breakout star of this year? From NXT? Just in general. It doesn't have oh. to be WWE. It doesn't have to be... Um, it could be any promotion, you know, across the board. Who do you think at the end of the year you're going to be like, yo, this was their year? Mm, I feel like John Moxley. He got a lot of people yeah. talking about him, a lot of eyes on him. Okay. I feel like he was a star already, but, you know. Facts and then he used Dean Ambrose the correct so way. He's so much happier now. Yeah. Like, I was watching, like, his shit, and, like, he really is. He's really not bad. In, he's a jet, like, he's really good. Like he, he, well, he can he, guess what? He, he was, can wrestle. He, he could wrestle before. Like I was paying attention to him. Yeah, I was but, yeah, right. That was <laughs> it wasn't showing. It, it wasn't. But it, it wasn't was, let him showcase yeah, it. Like it wasn't like you know we could see that. But like now, seeing it, like I get like like clips and shit, and I'm like, wow, this man looks yeah, fantastic. I mean, I think shape. at the end of the day, it's more like people always, you know, WWE's not for everyone. It, it really isn't. I mean, for 90%, it will probably be the end all of be all. And that was the whole, like, even to this day, I still get shocked that AJ Styles enters the ring <laughs> on a WWE platform. But it's not for everybody. Not everybody's, you know, journey goes that direction. And and I think with Dean Ambrose slash John Moxley, I think it was, I don't, he wouldn't have the career that the position he's in now if he didn't go through oh, yeah, the facts. growing pains of going through WWE and being there and understanding like this actually is just probably not the best place for me. Mm-hmm. You're being disappointed, I'm sure. I mean, the same thing with Cody. Like he had his little run there, and then Cody is his father's child. So, like, <laughs> straight up, he is Dusty, and in, in like in 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 every way where Dusty wanted to kind of do his own thing and then became more behind the scenes with WCW and did things like that so he is his father's son to the T um but Tatiana would star and you cannot say Seth fucking Rollins No I'm not going to say Seth right now because you know he's he's probably dead Um I agree with Haven with John Moxley like I really like okay. I was, like I wasn't paying attention to him when he was in WWE because you know it was Seth Roman because, and Dean Because yeah you yeah <laughs> and, to, <laughs> but now I'm like shit, man. I mean, I have some Dean Ambrose shirts, so I can like wear them. <laughs> I have a Dirty Dean shirt, so I'll wear that. But like, I was like, yeah, and they still sell that shit too for five dollars, probably, right? No, I see. It was no. So I saw the other day because we are um, raffling off a big, big thing at our summer San Fran party, and I was looking on the WWE shop, and I saw his his plates mm-hmm. were still mm-hmm. on the website. That's crazy. And like full price, like wasn't even like on some like half off, twenty percent off. It was at full <laughs> price for plates. That's wild because you've been trashing them. So that's wild. Like, yeah, but wild. who hasn't trash? You know, I, to be honest, listen. If Ultimate Warrior, if Bret Hart can walk through Gorilla, or has walked through Gorilla ever since those all those issues, anyone can anyone can talk shit and come back. I think. Yeah, I, that's I, true. I, I just don't feel like it's like you talk shit and you'll never return. Like. I don't believe in that. Spanish. Just the years down the road. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> um, let's see what else is in the wrestling world that I can think of. Um, oh, you know what I saw? The other, like, walking over here. So the third season of Glow is mm. coming on Netflix this Friday. I have never watched that. Why? Oh, I just, I don't, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm going to sound like you. Oh, I don't know. I just, <laughs> I'm sorry. That was shady. I just haven't watched it. And I was like, oh, you need to watch Glow. And I'm just like, eh, I don't care. Like. You should tell anyone, listen, anyone looking for a good old, like, breather from wrestling but still kind of want wrestling content, Glow on Netflix is definitely a really, really good show. Someone told me to watch this movie called The Wrestler. Yes, there are all, Wait, all Mickey, Is that Mickey Rourke in it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. My He's own a good actor. homegirl was like, oh, I watched this movie called The Wrestler and it makes me appreciate wrestling. But she doesn't watch wrestling still, but she was just saying, like, it made her appreciate it a bit more. Like, I told you, do. seeing Paige's, the, the Fighting for, for for My Family movie was really, it was actually way better than I thought it was going to be. I haven't really? watched it yet. I need to. I've been you slacking. didn't watch it? I've been slacking. Whoa. I know. I I, I've yet. been slacking. You didn't see it either? Definitely slacking. And you know I love Paige, oh, but my I God. just was like, I know. You guys out here wilding, wilding, like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, Paige. Forgive me. <laughs> right. You'll see it. 
Um, what else? What What else about wrestling right now? Kind of like grinds your gear. Like, what's something you want to ch- you would change? Brock being back. Period. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I just don't like that. Everyone's like, oh my God, it's Brock Lesnar. It's not even that he's like beating up Seth Rollins. I hate Brock Lesnar no matter who he's facing. Like, I just What's really hate him. What's your beef with Brock? I you just, big mad about Brock. He Why? just annoys me. Like, okay. he's red and he's stupid and he stomps around. He just, like, he's just annoying. Like, he's, I just. He's red. <laughs> right. Like, I was like, is he the Damn. big red machine? What's going on here? He's just red. Bro. Like, I just don't like Brock Lesnar. I just, like. You but, know I would agree with her, but I, my thing was if he <laughs> my thing was if he showed up more, I would be okay with it. Why? I actually don't mind Brock every other month. I don't mind. You gotta it. have the title. Can you just like he's not fighting, which is fine. I remember those four roles he did back like back to back. That's what I'm he saying. had the money in the bank. I'm mm-hmm. like, that's okay. He, he don't have to uh, right. You're just, just come, you're here. come to work. Yeah, you don't have to wrestle, but just. But be it's here. not about coming to work per se. It's like my my thing about Brock. I'll be in part time, which I don't have any beef for it because I just don't. To me, it gives the opportunity for other people to kind of fly on their own and, and it be around them. Like, mm. I don't like when the entire show is revolve around the WWE or the Universal Champion. Like that, that to me, you're you're you're, you're already wasting talent by not putting people <laughs> on TV. You're really wasting talent putting TV time over all your your champion like that. Like I just think it it oversaturates the product yeah. a little bit. So, but I don't mind Brock not being on TV as much. Like it does it doesn't it's never bothered me. Like I was like okay, because. Like, when you look back at Attitude Area, niggas wasn't really defending them titles at all. No, no, no. But see, they was there. Like, I remember when Triple H had it for, like, three years. <laughs> but he was there every Monday, you know? Even though that's when they took up way too much time. But it was good that the, the title was there. Like, now Brock has it. It don't have to be every Monday. Maybe every other Monday. <laughs> just come up, kick somebody's ass. Like, I like that. But just be so, here. I don't want to so see you So you liked today. what you saw on Raw with Seth Rollins. Well, the adult in me was worried about his hips, you know. But his hips? <laughs> his hips and his ribs. That is I like know a man that had hip surgery. <laughs> like, Who had hip surgery? My ex had like what? <laughs> hips. Damn. How old is he? What? He's right? like 30 and he had like hip, big hips and he was like, like his yeah, hips. Yeah, fake stopped, hips? Like his hip bones stopped growing. <laughs> Yo, where do you find Too these people? Oh, he was 6'6 six, six and 300 pounds. <laughs> like. His hip bones stopped like growing, so he had to like. But like, he didn't have no hip. He had he had what I call the taker surgery because taker <laughs> yeah. got his hip replaced. He needed it. He, needed it. he, he was looking good it. out there, by the way. Okay. He with Roman, wow, he did all the work. He took all the beatings. Roman was just there. Exactly. And I'm like, okay little, with that. Roman was taker a fan. needed what? that. Taker needed Roman that. Roman was such what? a fan during that match. He was. He like, was. He's real excited. <laughs> he was but so guess excited. what? That shit is trash because. When I was there in Orlando <laughs> and niggas was sad that that <laughs> shit went down. It was like, I need Roman to keep the same energy. Like, if you're not, if, listen, if, if you're going to beat the big dog and be the big dog, like, don't be sitting here and be fandom on the damn sideline. Like, oh, my God, it's Undertaker. Like, no. But Taker needed to redeem himself because was that it, match with him and Goldberg. But was it good. whose fault was it anyway? But you know they're gonna say it was equal parts. I don't it's think not. so. It was Goldberg. But yeah, his skinny ankles. Let's call a spade. Let's call a spade a spade. His, like you know, his redemption match. He's yeah. not. I which don't a, think so. Oh I'll boy, I can't wait till we get to that. <laughs> <laughs> so speaking into that, let's get into our NXT Takeover predictions. Um, as everyone knows, once again Saturday NXT Takeover will commence in Toronto, Canada. Um, and we will be having our viewing party Saturday night. So once again, if you have not RSVP, please do. Cheap plug. Hey. But um. NXT, you know, with NXT TakeOver here in Brooklyn, um, when Adam Cole became NXT champion. Um, no, I'm sorry. He became NXT champion mm-hmm. when he did TakeOver 25 um, in, in Connecticut. Um, I was highly excited about that. Yes. Uh, but he reminded the entire WWE community that the expedition of gold for Undisputed Area has commenced. Oh. So we're going to jump right into it. I'm going to ask you, ladies, let's talk about the NXT t- Tag Team Championship where you have the Street Profits um, versus Kyle O'Reilly and Bobby Fish. 
<laughs> ladies, do we see Undisputed Era getting those tag titles back? Or do we see the Street Profits, hashtag Black Excellence, hashtag I love them, hashtag I they wish. They are so fine. <laughs> they yeah. are, like, uh, one is definitely married, the other one definitely has a shorty. Trust me, I checked it out. <laughs> um, <laughs> um, but what are your thoughts? Who's Who do you see coming out of Canada as NXT Tag crazy. Team Champions? Crazy, that's what? rough. I said that's crazy because oh. it's so rough. Because I feel like the street profit, the street, the street profits are doing good, but I can see them giving the other guys all the gold. That's what they did with New Day and then OC. Mm-hmm. Why not just do it for NXT too? Yeah, I think they Stop might. Stop calling them OC. Listen, Yo, I'm gonna it, makes respect me, your name. it makes me think of Orange County. <laughs> legit, like I'm seeing here, like she talking about <laughs> the hills. Is yeah, she talking about like, like what's she talking I'm about? Like, so, that's their name. Like, it's on shirts now. So I nah, mean, it is. I mean, shirt is pretty lit though. Shirt. Yeah. All right, so that. you say t- half of Undisputed Era. So, Undis- so Kyle Riley and Bobby Fish will win. What do you think, Tati? Awesome. Do you see our red I cup like sipping the street, street profits like, coming out of Champions? They were so cute when they did like their little segment with Seth. I was like. That's, you only like the Seth. No, no, I yeah, like the Street you. Profits though. I like no, the Street Profits. I, I think they're cute. Say. I think they got, they're very swaggy. I mm-hmm. really like them. Like, okay. I want them to win, but I don't feel like they are. Like, I don't think so. Yeah, I don't. No, I don't. As, realistic, much as, like. as much as I want Black Excellence to always top the world, Thanks. I do see the goal going towards Undisputed Era because once again, if you fast forward now. Um, they're going to be on the road to Survivor Series, which is NXT TakeOver War Games in Chicago. Um, and I definitely see Undisputed Era walking into <clears throat> War Games with all of the gold. And speaking of that, let's go right into the... Going down um, this Sunday, live at Legends on 33rd Street, Manhattan. Myself and Stack Guy Greg, we are hosting a cheap heat live for SummerSlam, okay? Doors open at 5.30. Um... Tickets on Eventbrite. Actually, come through, hang out, watch SummerSlam with us. Uh, we'll do the podcast before SummerSlam. Then you can stay and watch, hang out for the night. We'll see what's going to happen. I mean, Goldberg's wrestling. So, if Goldberg's back, don't you need to watch with the Jew and SGG? We'll see you this Sunday at Legend. Championship, which is a triple threat match. You have Velveteen Dream versus Roderick Strong versus pete dunn i was highly surprised <laughs> pete dunn just became into the title picture like that but <laughs> let's talk about it ladies who do you think will come out north american champion i don't know oh i don't know i mean you know maybe roger strong but come on but the other two guys they have like just a good enough chance true so it, it actually is equally like hard to decide yeah. who's gonna win how about it's a tie <laughs> They There's all no take such it thing as ties. <laughs> they, what they each gonna take a third of a belt? Yeah, <laughs> and <laughs> that's what type of Power Ranger shit you want? <laughs> For real. <laughs> <laughs> but um, so then actually, my underlining question to you, ladies, is: Do you when do you see Velveteen Dream? Because once again, everyone is so hype about him and and love him. When do you see him coming up to the main roster? Shit, I don't know. Maybe in my Survivor Series. I don't want him to. I don't want him to either. But Why? Let's talk about it. Because they get ruined. Like, yeah. everyone that comes up, like, Not suck. everybody, but... Most. 90% of people. Uh, Not lost. everybody, but, you know. 90%. Certain gimmicks I don't think translate well from NXT to the main roster. Because okay, like what? Like Tyler it. Breeze. He got but that was a trash shuffle. gimmick there, but... But they like him there. Neither here The Ascension... <laughs> Trash gimmick there. But continue. <laughs> but at, they were successful in NXT. Like even Bo Dallas. I mean, no, that, that right was no, that but that beat no, shit. but the Bo Leaf shit was it, it grew on me, but it, was it wasn't hot in the beginning. But that fucking B team shit was dope. I liked it. I like B-team. Now where they at? I don't, know. I don't know. They're very good looking in person, by the way. I will say that. Bo Dallas, I could agree with. Yeah. I said it to them and Curtis Aqua was like, Yeah, I know. And I was like, I thought I'd be like, not you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Ew, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. Attitude. I just don't want Velveteen to get ruined. Yeah. He's too talented, so I don't think it would. I would say he would be like Finn. Like how Finn just kind of be there sometimes. Just but I feel like the, I feel like his persona would not allow that. Like Finn is definitely more of the laid back. Like true. I'm I'm here, hi. but how are you? <laughs> right. That's when I met him, he was like, "Hi, how are you?" I waited all this for hi, bo- how are you? I mean, hey. Like, Wait, I mean, when did you meet Finn? Oh, what? At was it at, oh, at Axis? Yeah. And he was like, I should have went to go meet Bubba Seen Dream. He should've. was the one that had the crowd. Yeah, I was sick. I went to because... go meet Finn. And he's like, hi, how are you? It's like, and that's it? Yeah. Nope. Did you give him a hug? I shook his hand. Like, he oh. stuck his hand out for was us. Was it sweaty? Like, 
No, it was just what? Like hair. Like, Girl, let me tell you, when I rolled up on some old Joe, it was a hug on Oh, no, sight. I hugged Seth. I was like, come here, baby. Like, it was, I, was a like, this hug. Been a, I was like, this is a long time coming. Man, and I, I probably went, was like, this weird fucking girl. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I legit, because it was the night after Wally Mania, uh, WrestleMania weekend, and I went to Access, and I specifically went to Access to meet Samoa Joe, mm-hmm. and I legit dropped all my bags and all that mm-hmm. shit I had, and I was just, I walked super slow, like, super sexy slow-mo yeah. to Samoa Joe. <laughs> no shame. No shame. And he was, and he smiled in my picture, like, that nigga don't ever smile, so He's shout like, out to Joe. That was your moment. Joe. That Joe. was, <laughs> girl, that was beyond a moment, because if Pete was not married, I'm just saying. He's married? Yeah. I did not know yeah, that. Yeah. I mean, it I could have probably bagged Seth because Seth definitely cheats on all his girlfriends. Yeah, that's a shame. So, wow, so you gonna say shame. he gonna cheat? He gonna cheat on Becky? He may probably. not because like they working together. I feel but, like she like, would beat his ass. Though. I feel like she wow. would fuck him up and yeah, a girl, but he fucks so. fans. So, wow. Yeah. So I mean, I really could have been like, here, call me on a good so time. So why didn't you? I'm scared. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> ah, like all he of signed that to say I'm scared. my um like my little action figures and I left them and he was like, you need this girl and I was like. Wow. Right. <laughs> annoying. <laughs> Yo, so you just... I That's can't annoying. even be mad at you because <laughs> if it's somebody I really want to meet, I'm be the same fucking way. Right. Obnoxious as fuck. <laughs> but um, but we're undecided about the North American titles, which you guys yeah. are telling me. I'm going to say undecided. Undecided. Or a tie. It's not a tie. <laughs> <laughs> there are no ties in wrestling. I mean, unless... <laughs> no, there aren't because even in the Iron Man match, there was a tie and then they had to go to sudden death. So yep. there is That's no ties. Wild. Um, I'm gonna say I would not be surprised if Pete done one. Yeah. I would not be totally surprised by that. Um, but I probably see Roderick Strong winning because once again I do see Undisputed Era leaving Toronto with all the gold. Um, so let's move on to the next match. Let's talk about um the NXT Women's Championship match with Shayna Baszler. Going against Mia Yim. This is is this Mia's time? I hope so. Is this the end of Shayna Baszler's undefeated streak? Why does she still have that? I'm very tired of her. <laughs> like, Re- let's talk about it. Why? She comes off like another Brock. Like, and then she got her girls helping her mm-hmm. and blah blah blah. I just want someone else to get it. And I like Mia Yim. She's talented. You know, she's been working her way to get here. Why not? Something new, something fresh. Okay. What are your thoughts, Tatiana? I don't like Shayna Blazer. Why? I don't like her Yo, face. It ha- her Dang. face is hard. No, her face is like hard. Her face. her face is hard. Like, like that, that jawline is like really hard. Like, I will admit that. I just but don't like her damn, face. Damn, that's why you don't like her? I just don't like her face. Like, I just feel like she's like, she just walks around like a man. Like, I, I mean, I'm just not into it. I'm not into it. Like, you said, like, she got her friends. Home. I'm not into it. Yeah, like, that's I'm, too not, much. I'm over it. Like, a couple of times it's cute and fun, but like, I'm over it. Like, yeah. every time I watch her wrestle, like, her friends have interfered. Mm-hmm. And I don't watch NXT that often. But every time I watched it, her friends That's have disappeared. Yep. Like, I'm over it. <laughs> uh, do, so, question to you ladies then is, do you think it should have been a triple threat and it been Bianca Belair yes. versus Mia Yim <laughs> versus Shayna Baszler? Yes. I love Bianca Belair. Yeah, I think she's definitely the future. So, I can wait for her to get her title run, but let it go to Mia and then let her get it from Mia. Right, because I like when they went against each other, they I mean people will say what they want to say about Bianca Belair and that's fine, but I'm totally all about her and I think mm-hmm. she is a phenomenal talented um young woman that's on that roster. Um but I think her beating Shayna wasn't realistic at all. Like it was like you're close but you ain't <laughs> that close. So I definitely think um, Shayna has probably met her match with me and him. Mm-hmm. Um, I would be very excited if she did win. Um, and shout, shout out to Battle Club Pro because actually I saw her wrestle for the first time at one of their shows like mm-hmm. almost a year ago. Um, their all female show that they did, and it was Mia Yim versus Tessa Blanchard. And when I tell y'all, oh, that match probably was shit good. was fire. So shout out to Joe Keen and everybody at Battle Club for that. Um, so before we get into the main title match, um, they also have another match they announced. It's Candice LeRae, who which everyone knows is jo- Johnny Gargano's wife, versus Leo Shirai, who turned heel after um, losing to Shayna Baszler, apparently. Mm-hmm. So who do you ladies think will walk out ch- um, winner? I don't care. Okay. <laughs> so simple. Probably Candice LeRae because I feel like they love her a lot. But why? I don't know Isn't why, she but yeah, that's why. Uh, but you know, she's Johnny Gargano's wife. Blah blah blah. Uh, I feel like she's gonna win, but I like Io Shirai. She's really good. 
I like her actually more a heel than a face. Um, to the point where, because everyone was like, well, why did she turn? Like, it didn't make sense. And I'm like, no, it does make sense. NXT doesn't have a lot of female heels. Mm -hmm. So literally the only heel, which essentially is why Shayna Baszler has been the only champion, mm -hmm. is because she's the only heel. <laughs> like, you can't, you gotta have some, you gotta have a mixture of two, so. Yeah. Um, so I kind of, I actually kind of hope um, Leo Shirai actually wins. Um, and then Tatiana doesn't give a shit. So <laughs> we're going to talk about the main event, which is the NXT Championship. It is a two out of three falls where the first fall is a regular match. The second fall is a street fight. And the third fall is to be determined that is wild. the night of, oh apparently. I um, I, I, I'm, as much as I'm kind of tired of Johnny wrestling, but I'm intrigued. <laughs> Fuck him up, Johnny. Fuck him up. <laughs> Fuck him up, Johnny. Fuck uh, him up. So, ladies, who will be walking out of Toronto as NXT champion? I hope Adam Cole. Yes. He needs to. Come on. Come on. Come on. I like Adam Cole. I was like saying, fuck him up, Johnny. Fuck him up. Wow. Fuck him up, Johnny. She, yo, a nice she, cheer. Yo, she, oh, she fucks with people that got nice cheers. Nice cheers. She okay. does that all the time. <laughs> I forgot, oh yo, gosh. what's the other chant that she was just like, yo. And it was, I don't remember what it was. I don't remember, but I know what you're talking about. Yeah, like, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm like, That's yo. Crazy. She loves people that got bomb-ass cheers. And it's just like. Oh, fly, Eagles, fly. That's the cheer. Oh, okay. No, but right. it was another, like, wrestling-related one. But, yeah, she likes wrestling, like, cheers. And, like, she, first of all, she was rooting for the fucking Philadelphia Eagles because fucking Nikki Bella likes the fucking Eagles. And I was That's just like, why? that yes. makes no sense. Oh, my God. But whatever. <laughs> so, like, the Eagles will play the Giants. And, like, we went to go watch it um, in Brooklyn at a bar. And she's just over here cheering from fucking Philadelphia. And I'm like, bitch, what? Like, like, who's me? Who's, yeah, like, who, who are, are you? Who are? Yeah, like, t t return the sender immediately. <laughs> um, so you say Adam Cole. Tatiana, who do you think will win the NXT championship? Adam Cole, but fuck him up, John. <laughs> fuck him up. <laughs> Crazy. Cannot Crazy. deal. I hope and pray that Adam Cole in the entire Undisputed Era does take over NXT. Boom, boom. Hey. So <laughs> let's move on to the main, the main show. We are all here for SummerSlam hey. um, in Toronto. It has been some time since WWE has done SummerSlam in Toronto. It's been since 2004 oh, um, was so the cool. last SummerSlam in Toronto, um, Canada. Oh, it's not here. I'm just kind of sad. Yeah, it feels a little weird it that it isn't naked. here. Like, it yeah, feels weird. so weird. Like, because I feel like with, you know, WrestleMania, you know, when that's dead and gone, you, you get excited about SummerSlam. Mm -hmm. And I think for all of us here, we, we've been spoiled yeah. for oh, yeah. the last four years. <laughs> yeah. And then we bitched and moaned how L.A. had it for like six years. And we were <laughs> like, what the fuck? So now they're in Toronto. Question, where do you think they're going to go next year? I don't know. Hopefully somewhere that I can get to. <laughs> you I can get go. to Canada. I could, but I don't You got know. a passport? Girl, get a passport. I, I know. I, I got to work on that. Get over. a passport. I have a passport. I got places to go. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going go. um, to go. But they're not going to go to Florida. No, because next year, Maine is in Tampa. But I'm scared. I was like, I wouldn't mind like, it being like, in New Orleans. Ooh. Oh, well, you was there before, so. I'm, I'm yeah, like I the shit. Yeah, I need to enjoy it again, though. <laughs> I need to enjoy it. I think, time. yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's fucking hot, I will say. Yeah, I wouldn't have um, been like Summer Sam New Orleans. That'd be sick. Okay. Ooh, that was a good one. I mean, I think, I mean, as much as I don't want them to go back to the West Coast, I think doing it in um like San Diego or the Bay Area again, mm -hmm. um, I think it'd be cool. Um, especially like for all of us like that haven't, you know, ever been out there out west. Right. Um, either there or um Phoenix is too fucking hot in August, so I don't even think that is an option. Yeah, I was gonna say yeah, Texas, and I was like, nah, uh, I Texas die. is not. No, <laughs> like, it's too fucking hot. Um, but I like New Orleans, girl. You already know I love New Orleans. <laughs> exactly. I like that idea. That was a, that was a good one. Summertime in New Orleans sounds lit. Summertime in New Orleans <laughs> like, is like this is like a mini Mardi Gras all over again. Yeah, that would be stupid God. lit. <laughs> um, so let's talk about this card, which I feel like on paper. It's actually really decent. <laughs> mm -hmm. I was about this earlier this morning. It was like they all look whack, like the matches, and I was like, maybe. But now I'm looking at. Them, I'm like, I feel this like looks there's good. a lot of like, there's a few matches that I feel like are, are the they're, they're the underdogs, but mm -hmm. they might steal the show kind of situation. Um, so I'm actually gonna start from the 
from the bottom to the top. I say from the back. I'm gonna say yeah. no. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> like, like yeah. Do it from the back. <laughs> what? Just kidding. I'm, kidding. I'm gonna put you in a timeout. <laughs> That's what's gonna happen sooner or later. Cause you're you out of control. Um. So let's talk about Drew Gulak, who by far I think is one of the best oh cruiserweights. Is that the Alicia Fox the f- guy? No, that's no, yeah. no, darling, no. <laughs> I don't like the that's Gulak. Uh, oh, f- why? I don't like the word Gulak. Oh, damn, that's his like name name. I know. I feel like, <laughs> what does it sound like? Gulak. I don't like it. I don't like it. Where are you from, Gulak? Gulak. Like, I don't. No, damn. No, no. My bad. You guys are ruthless on the names. <laughs> God damn. Um, but once again, um, Drew Gulak um, is your current reigning defending cruiserweight champion. What is this? Oni Lorkin? Yeah, Oni. I'm sorry. Clearly, doesn't someone watch, doesn't watch, watch NXT. <laughs> Cle- Cle- as you guys are watching and viewing, you clearly see who watches NXT and who doesn't. She said, "What is this?" I was like, she was, "Yeah, she was confused." Oh and I'm God. like, "Listen, Only Larkin was is from NXT, and he's now on the 205 Live you brand." Know, I don't like 205. <laughs> Yo, yeah, we remember. We yeah, we can't forget that. But I really <laughs> recommend. You know, at this stage in the game, to try, try to watch it. Like I, a few weeks ago, that whole it was um, Jack Gallagher versus um, Chad Gable's fine ass, um, and that match was wild. Like it was so good. I'll YouTube it. Um, but I yeah, like Chad Gable. Whew, I need to figure out if he's single or not. Oh my God. Shit is wild. Let's go like, on his Instagram right now. Like, Fast Instagram. <laughs> Shit, let's, we got time. One? <laughs> let's check. Hold on, guys. I didn't know he had one. Cause like everyone has an Instagram now. Like, no, Roman not everybody. Roman just got one. Roman just got one. Roman just got one. How did he just get one, Chad? I think he only got it for the movie. Gabe. Oh. Did y'all see that movie? By the yes. way, yes. I haven't seen it yet, and I'm yes, tight. and I'm not spoiler alerted because I you thought it, it was really good. Have you seen it? Yeah, yeah. I, I thought think it, it was, was good. good. I haven't seen it yet. See, I'm that glad is. you seen it. Yeah. So I why didn't why. neither one of you bitches <laughs> tell me? Like, well, let's I go to went. The movie. I, I would literally went. I went because everyone. First of all, you already know I like going to the movies by myself because niggas be talking. And but I don't talk yo, that's the, the worst. Movie. You <laughs> the worst. But I've never heard of the movies before. Like, she twice. has gone, and talk. you know it's crazy. <laughs> my best friend talks, so like, I already know. Like I can't take her ass <laughs> to the movies. But no, I had went literally like right after work. Like oh. it came out last week Friday. I went Thursday night after work because they had they always have showings Thursday nights. So I went after work. Oh, I think I seen that. I was busy. Never mind. See, there you go. See, you ain't got time for me. <laughs> that was like a board game place thing. Yeah, I remember. Oh, she was on. It was date night. Yeah, it was date Aww. night. <laughs> Aww, cute. Date Aww, night. Cute. See, Chaggy, but ain't got no damn Instagram. Damn. See, now everybody has one. But maybe he has Twitter. I'm not on Twitter. I'm on Twitter. Are you on Twitter? Yeah, I just now started going on. What My tweets you, are just why? complaints. <laughs> what made you do the switch? Um, I just I had it made and I, it was just sitting there. <laughs> So Twitter is a good place to complain about customer service, by the way. I promise. Really? Yeah. Like, you, like I tweet DoorDash all the time. I'm like, you guys messed up my order. <laughs> yes, I tweet DoorDash. Okay. It I is. Like, you get messed up order, you tweet them. It's fun. Pro tip. I just like seeing black Twitter. So Ooh. they're very funny. How do you access that? Well, it's certain hashtags. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> For someone that just got on it to Twitter, how the fuck you don't I don't be knowing to be like black Twitter. I'm like, what's black Twitter? Like, is it a button? <laughs> <laughs> is a it button? a different profile? Like, what wow. is it? Wow. No, I know. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Out of control. But let's go back. But Chad Gable, if you ever <laughs> just so happen to watch this episode, <laughs> holla at your girl. But anyway, um, Cruiserweight title match. We have Drew Gulak versus Oni Lurkin. His name is just funny. Clearly, <laughs> I don't even want to ask who you think is going to win because you don't know don't. who the fuck that guy is. And you barely know Drew Gulak. So, right. Haven, who do you think is going to win? Well, because I don't like his name, I don't want Drew Gulak to oh win. Oh, my God. That is that's so that's mean. not You don't like Shayna because of her face. Okay, that's yes, worse. That's true. No, that actually is not worse. That is <laughs> actually, <laughs> that's valid. <laughs> That's super valid, though. Because if he's a champion, I got to keep hearing his name. You see? How often do you watch 205 Live? Mm, I catch it here and there. Exactly. So. <laughs> but when it comes to pay-per-view time, now I got to hear it. Especially, ugh, come on. He's amazing. And I'm telling he's you, good, though. go back and the both of you, go watch Evolve's 10-year anniversary. It was Drew Gulak versus Matt Riddle. Mm-hmm. By mm-hmm. far, one of the best matches on that card. And it made, it, it made me look at Matt Riddle in a, in a different light. 
mm-hmm. because like I was just like I I wasn't with the whole bro gimmick shit. Like I th- <laughs> I thought that shit was trash. I was like, what the fuck is this? But then he be then I became a family. He started talking shit about Goldberg. So mm-hmm. I was like, yeah, <laughs> we on the same page. But go, I recommend that go watch that particular match on Evolve on the WWE Network. She plug um, to see <laughs> how Drew Gulak actually is in the ring. I want Drew to win. I think he's a great. Um, t- I think he's a great talent, um, and I think him being cruiserweight t- um, champion for a little bit longer is okay. Hmm. And I mean, but if o- if only Lurkin wins, then maybe you know who the fuck he is. <laughs> <laughs> um, let's talk. You know what? Let's talk about it. Dolph Ziggler. <laughs> Versus bum ass Goldberg. Damn, damn, that was hard. That it's was happening. Mean. I don't know why. I've been waiting to talk to you about this for yeah. a while. I really don't know why he's doing this. I, I seen her post and I was like, oh, she's not happy. <laughs> <laughs> no, because so I'm watching. Was it Raw? I'm watching Raw, and I was like, all right, Miss, because I I thought the best friend versus best friend match was great. Was, was great. Yeah. I was already yeah. sign me up, buckle me in. I'm here for it. And then when the Miz was like, "Yeah, you're gonna face me the Monday after Summer," so I was like, mm-hmm. "What?" Because they had been rumbles about him and Goldberg happening, and then I was just like, "But why?" Yeah, then you had like Shawn Michaels in the ring. I was like, "No, you haven't." Yo, if Shawn, Shawn Michaels, Mike, no, no bullshit though. I would have rather it been Shawn Michaels. If we were gonna do an old person, yeah, I would have rather but, that. But because Shawn Michaels was so stiff, and like they had DX and stuff. He was like. Like he his like he was so stiff. Nah, but he could still do that whole like his when kick. he in the yeah like. <laughs> first of all, like Shawn. But that'd Michaels, been cool to have Shawn Michaels versus like Dolph Ziggler. Yeah, it would have like, been like old versus young kind of thing, like oh, the copy. You know, what I'm saying? I I want you to hold that thought in terms of old. And new. I want you to hold that <laughs> thought because people get upset about the next match we're going to talk about. But let's talk about it. Dolph Ziggler versus Goldberg. Who do you see? Winning is it going to be a squash match? Is actually more my question. I feel like they're trying to give this so Goldberg can redeem himself. So I think he might just squash Dolph, and, and he can Dolph. he can sell it. You know, I don't want it to happen. Dolphy baby's like, gonna job the fucking Goldberg. Yeah. What an accomplishment! He more than that. But that's what I think is gonna happen. Dolph is definitely losing. Yeah, just Dolph Dolph Goldberg, Goldberg can't wrestle more than like a minute, five minutes yeah. or less. So. Imagine him in the bedroom. I'm kidding. Uh, I'm kidding. No, thank you. <laughs> that was ill. That's here now. <laughs> That's here. That's it's not like, okay. Stuck. <laughs> like, yeah, it's stuck. Because I'm like, oh, like. I'm just thinking uh, just that one minute. I was like, wow. Like, his good. wife must be very disappointed. <laughs> Yo, but what if it's the complete opposite? <laughs> what if that nigga's really hanging? Like, then what? Because I was surprised about Hogan, and I'm not even a Hogan fan to the day of nothing. But I was like, oh, that's what Hogan's doing. <laughs> Got you. You could be hanging oh and gosh. still last like five minutes. That is okay. also a fact. That is also a fact. So, okay. Ooh, that was very, very close to That was home. hard. <laughs> yeah. Pause. Like, I mean, that was very, like, was, really it, true. It, it can happen. <laughs> Facts. Let's talk about it now. But, uh, crazy. <laughs> Chapter three of my life story. <laughs> <laughs> this one nigga oh knows. <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> that's a part of your forward in your autobiography. <laughs> like, I'm tell you about this one nigga. <laughs> oh my lord. <laughs> but um, all right. So even says Goldberg's bum ass. Tazi, who you see? Gonna be Goldberg, yeah. and like I said, Dolph deserves more than that. I feel like I'm just mad that yes. we're dead. Like WWE dead ass got this nigga on payroll and was like, "Yeah, you sucked at Saudi, but here, go, it. go, go across, go to the northern border, like go to another country and fuck up again, like type <laughs> of shit." Like what? In what world did did I ever go to sleep and wake up like, yeah, I want to see Dolph Ziggler versus Goldberg. Yeah, I totally want to see that, and no. No. Not in not in a million Never. fucking years. <laughs> like, I wanted to see that shit. Not in a million fucking but um, I guess little little Goldberg can win. I guess in Toronto. I guess whatever. You know, William Goldberg. <laughs> All this says little. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like Bill. I was like what is he? Little Bow Wow? Like little Goldberg? <laughs> Probably. Um, let's go to the next one. So when you said old versus new, Charlotte it's a great Trish. segue into Charlotte Flair versus Trish Stratus in Trish's home town of Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Guys, <laughs> what do you think? 
I'm excited. Actually. I'm excited. excited for this. Excited is an understatement. Yeah, the boys. When I was in a play in fifth grade, like Trish Stratus, she's wearing a cowboy hat. Yes. So I told my, With like, my drama teacher, I was like, I need a cowboy hat. Because wow. You need a cowboy hat because of Trish. Because yes. Trish. Wow. Trish, you know how she used to take it off and be like, Trish, this? you are an inspiration to Tatiana's fifth grade self. <laughs> right. <laughs> I did that in the play. I was like, well, duh, stupid. Like, that was my, my first line. That was your only line? <laughs> no, that was my first line. Like, oh. It was like, okay. more than Roman. And I was like, well, duh, wow. stupid. Wow. <laughs> See? Don't be spoiling shit. <laughs> yeah. Wow. <laughs> I'm just saying. But yeah, Trish inspired Roman. the ten year old Tatiana. Well, <laughs> shout out to Trish Stratus right, right. for that. Um <laughs> I am the boys we we argued to the tooth and nail about this match, but it it's definitely an era versus era match and mm-hmm. it couldn't have been it couldn't have been positioned in a better place in Toronto in her hometown. Cause even though Trish, you know, wrestled at Evolution here in New York, um, it's nothing like wrestling in your hometown. Right. You know what yeah. I mean? So late, and this is actually one of the matches I'm like, people sleeping on Trish because they're like, oh, you know, because I was upset she didn't even get the fucking hot tag on Monday. Like, nah, I was just like, even. they saving what? it. Yeah. I said, they gotta save it, though. Yo, but it was like, this is pointless. Like, what? What they are we doing? Yeah, yo, I was ready for Natty <laughs> to hit the hot tag and it didn't happen and I was so disappointed. But, ladies, do we have Trish winning or do we have the queen herself? She's not my queen. Okay. <laughs> Self-proclaimed queen, queen, I guess, then. Charlotte Flair, who do we have? This is a tough one. Because it, is. it is. People lose in their hometown. I think only Naomi won in Orlando. Naomi won in Orlando. So that's only a few. Um, this is rare. I feel like Sasha won in Boston once upon a time. I feel like she lost in Boston Sasha. twice upon well, a time. I miss Both. <laughs> um, yeah, Roman didn't win in his no, hometown. Sure did. Um, I don't remember Seth winning in Davenport, Iowa. <laughs> so, <laughs> I know those are random. And that's what sucks because I'm like, it's her hometown. Why bring her back to have her lose in her hometown? To give kind of like that. And, and that's the thing. They love Charlotte. So it's like she could be passing the torch. Mm-hmm. But then, you know, she might get her, her win as a legend. I don't know. It's it's kind it's of a toss-up. It's yeah, a toss-up. It's up. really it's hard, It's super too. hard because it reminded me, like, it was WrestleMania with Dallas when, um, was it Lita that revealed the title? Yeah, Lita yeah. revealed the new, um, it wasn't like the Divas t- Championship <laughs> or whatever it was. It was now, like, the women's title mm-hmm. and revealed it at um, WrestleMania in Dallas because um, that mm-hmm. was that triple threat of um, Sasha, um, Bailey, and um, Charlotte, which Sasha Banks should have won it. Mm-hmm. But that's neither here or there. Um, but in that sense, I feel like every monumental moment needs to have like a legend that has paved the wave. Um, just like how um, Natty and um, Beth Phoenix were mm-hmm. um, partners in the tag title match at WrestleMania, those kind of things. Um, but I kind of want Trish to win. Yeah, I kind of want Charlotte to eat some humble pie. I'm not even gonna hold you to it, but (laughs) humble cake. Like, you want her to eat a whole ass cake? Yeah, type of fat nigga shit you are. (laughs) Um, what? It's the truth. F and you. If you (laughs) (laughs) cheat, the the cheapest plug. (laughs) If you guys had only seen the background, (laughs) you would understand why. But um, but yeah, who do you guys think? I wouldn't one. mind Trish at okay. all. Because I used to really like her back in the day. I did what, too. What made you, we already know, hat, <laughs> cowboy hat. <laughs> hey, but what made you really become a Trish Stratus fan? All right, well, at first, when she first came, I liked her because she was super pretty. And then she, like, had control over Test and Albert. Mm-hmm. And then Bubba Ray was mesmerized. Like, I don't know, she seemed like that bitch, if I can she say did. that bitch. That's what you I'm know? saying. She was and then so when dope. she actually learned to wrestle... Mm-hmm. I was so happy because now it wasn't just bra and panties and a bulldog. She had, she had moves. Yeah. So I liked it. Like right. She she earned that spot, I feel like, because she, she started as a model who could do nothing. And then she said, I'm going to learn, and I'm going to be good. And for her time, she was really good. Her, her time. Her time. That's the important her part, Her time. <laughs> and her, her time. Era. <laughs> her era. Yeah. Because she she's not going to be like Goldberg. I tell you that. No matter what you think, she will not Goldberg us on yeah, Sunday. Definitely. If it um, was Lita. If it was <laughs> bum-ass Lita, yeah, it would, it would oh, be. I used to love Lita, too. Mm, yeah, but she's Wasn't not, that she's that, that story where you was like, you had the underwear on top of your... I underwear Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I remember what I want to remember. That's the funny part. 
Um, all right, so we Trish, what do you think, Tati? I want Trish. Tony Roll me on a stage. I want Trish to win. Wow. Wait, who? What? Ten year old me with the hat. On oh, but I mean, like twenty ish year old you. I'm twenty one. Uh, Lies. So, <laughs> so tell. I don't like Charlotte. Like I feel like they give her Why? way too much. Damn, to just not like her at all. It's not like I don't like her. I just feel like they shove her down our throats. Like, oh, like someone else. And I know we're not gonna go there. <laughs> I'm just, yeah. I'm just saying. <laughs> just like it's always like, oh, well, Charlotte, this, and it's like, all right, we get it. Like, but but do you do you think she's talented though? I think she's talented. I'm just sick of her. Okay. <laughs> all right. I don't think Romeo's gonna like that too much, but you know, <laughs> I love you, Romeo. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Let's talk about the return of Bray Wyatt, the Fiend. That sounds wild. This is wild sus. Like, wild. super <laughs> problematic as fuck. Like, it's on the same level as problematic that fucking Burn It Down does for me. Like, that shit is problematic. As so- no shade. That shit is problematic, like, for real, for real. But, got Bray Wyatt returning versus Finn Bala. Is it the demon or just Finn? Nope. I think Regular it's just Finn. Finn. Yeah. Oh, so Finn is losing. Nigga yeah. said, it is the dollar value of <laughs> Finn. Regular ass Finn. She said, just good old Finn from down the block. And I definitely think Bray Wyatt is he has to win. Bray has to win. Finn always loses. <laughs> Finn doesn't always lose. <laughs> eh. I mean, it was like Demon. I was like, oh, this be good. But yeah, the Fiend but versus Finn. Nah, when, like, we, when I thought that, no bullshit, I was very like on edge when it was him versus Andrade in Saudi. Mm. I was like, oh, I'm not sure how this is going in. So, and he was the demon. So, I mean, every time everyone knows when he's demon, he's undefeated mm-hmm. in a way. So, it is what it is. But, um,. What are your thoughts on him using the man of a claw? Like, <laughs> I think it's unique in a way that certain, you know, wrestlers at this time and they're in at this kind of like point in their career that they're kind of digging for a, a different finisher. Like Kevin Owens using the stunner, mm-hmm. which is fantastic, which is awesome. <laughs> yeah. Um, but what are your thoughts on him using the? He's used the man of a claw twice. So on Mick Foley. Yeah, I was like, he did. Not and when I tell you, I was there. That was the creepiest <laughs> shit I've ever seen in my life. Like I was like, whoa. <laughs> and then this past Monday night on Raw against Kurt Angle. So what are your thoughts on him using the man of a claw? Um, I just want to say real quick. Back in the day, Undertaker had said something about Kurt Angle, and he said, Kurt Angle. <laughs> and that was the best thing ever. But I'm um, sorry. That, oh, was, bad, a that was a random <laughs> That was the most was random like, comment. Yo. Like, so how is this coming back to Yo. Bray Wyatt? <laughs> I just wanted to say that. But, like, um, I was she like, I'm sitting here like, okay. <laughs> like, so she's getting back to the point where cool. it involves Bray. Like. Listen, Kurt Angle's name got brought up. I had to say it. But um, <laughs> I think it's cool because he has such a creepy character. It kind of fits. You know, Mankind was this whole like weird boiler, boiler room, room yeah. dweller. So it worked there. And I think it could work here too because Bray's pretty creepy. But he's a cool creepy, you know. Mankind was just like a. When he says yowie wowie, it's so fucking hot. Ew. It's not. It's Ew. so hot. It's not, and it's Definitely really not. super problematic that you think that shit is hot. <laughs> it's funny. I'm not, not even hot. gonna hold you know. to that. That's this is an issue if you really really like how he says that. <laughs> just I, that I really do. Gotta get put aside after that one. Yeah, like girl. Some things you should keep to yourself. <laughs> Can we erase that part? <laughs> no, no, we're live. So this, erase? you said what you said. Fine, mm. I said what I said. But um, <laughs> but the table, this this size Bray looks like is gonna take you know the his first W in like who know fucking knows Ooh. how long. Um, cause yeah, the last time I saw Bray. I saw him actually at the house show I went to in Chicago. Some of your friends. Last time I saw Bray. I did. Cause <laughs> shout out to my homegirl Angie in Chicago, who I adore and I love, and is a fellow wrestling fan. She's a huge Bray Wyatt fan, and and we literally went to the house show. It was the last holiday show in 2018, and Bray came out, and Bray hadn't been on the road in like weeks. So for her, like for us to see him, like that was the last time I've literally seen Bray in a ring wrestle, which was almost eight months ago. So it's good to see Bray back. I'm interested. Where do you guys see the character going? Like who's going to be his next victim? I feel like oh, I heard Finn's taking time off. Yes, after this. Finn is taking about a solid two months to recollect himself, get his lower life together, come back in time blah, for blah, some blah. for for Survivor Series. <laughs> He's going to spend time with his girl, his shorty. Well, yeah. <laughs> I don't know because my thing it would have been cool to have Finn lose and then come back as the demon. We could still do that in like Survivor Series. Yeah, we could. Okay. But, um, his, but by his next victim, yeah, I don't know. Probably Bobby Lashley. <laughs> Just to get Bobby. No, Bobby. He's hurt, right? I don't know if Bobby's hurt because 
Yo, it took me mad long to fig- figure out Lars Sullivan was injured, and I was like, "Wait, what? Gen- <laughs> gender's injured?" Yeah, gender. Oh injured. shit! Um, I forgot all about him. <laughs> yo, gender's out for like almost the rest of the year, yeah. almost we type share a shit. Don't give me evil eyes like you that. You don't like him, but we share a birthday. So you better put some respect on Jinder Mahal's name. Some name. Um, I'm not like Eve Marie Ginger Mahal. <laughs> <laughs> Fucked up. Um, but yeah, I can't. Who do you like? Think about it. Who do you think Bray is gonna be moving on to his next feud with? Maybe Elias. Okay. Because yeah. he's, he's a good opponent, but he's someone who can lose because he's been losing. Wow. <sighs> good I old, like him. But good old jobs. Losing. Good old <laughs> jobs, guys. What do you think, Todd? I'm trying to think. I don't know. I'm not hard because I just feel like it's really anybody's game. Like it, yeah. it could be shit. It could be fucking Brock, and we would be like, "Whoa, that'd be, that'd cool. be kind of cool, though." Yeah, yeah. WWE hired me. Thank you very much. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're gonna move right along. Uh, we have wait, there's no the- tag titles on the line. Nope. That is so wild. Mm-hmm. Now listen, this is as of today in real life time Wednesday. There is still a whole ass pre-show which could have other matches. So anything we don't discuss could be announced for a pre-show match or just not happening at all. So just, you know, keep yeah. that in mind. Mm-hmm. Um, but we have for the 18th billion time, we have AJ Styles <laughs> versus Ricochet for the United States <laughs> Championship. I think wow. AJ's going to retain. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like Ricochet? I love Ricochet. Just like his video. I love Ricochet. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, remember that day that that shit hit? <laughs> Yo, this one. Oh, we we all was talking, but yeah, it was, was it was, but it was so separately. Like no, like you didn't know that I was talking to this one, and she didn't know I was talking to you about it. But when yeah. that shit hit the fan, because I had a birdie had told me about it the night before, mm. so I was already privy to some information. And then when the shit, when I woke up the next day and people were talking about booty holes and fingers, I was mm. like, oh, shit, it hit the fan. <laughs> oh, so then this one over here messages me. It's like 7 o'clock in the fucking morning. She wow. messages me like, <laughs> yo, so you got that video though? <laughs> I, said, I, said, I said, yo, sis, give me about a half hour. Let me work on that because yes. you only saw the gif because she said you sent her the yeah. gif. <laughs> So I said, oh, I said, yo, send me the gif real quick. Because yeah. I was like, I didn't see anything. Because the shit was on Twitter and shit. So I was like, shit. Early. Yo, literally, <laughs> after I I'm spoke. A creep. She, <laughs> fucking creep. After she hits me up and she sends me the gif you sent her. Then, I, then it was like, it had to be like 20 minutes later. <laughs> and my undisclosed source that I will not reveal <laughs> sent me a whole ass video. The video. And then I sent it to the masses. I was like, here, bitches. <laughs> here you <y'all> go. go. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> oh, too, too much, much for you. Too huh? much. Huh. Too much. <laughs> Don't let the door. Not meet you. <laughs> Have a blessed night. A blessed but um, night. all right. So Haven, you said AJ is retaining. He is because I feel like the club is gonna help him if they don't have like a match. You mean the OC? I'm sorry. Get it right. The OC. California here. I'm we dead. Come I'm like right back. Yeah, I was like that's not that's from. not Anderson and Gallo Steve. Yeah. Well, I was saying like what. <laughs> fuck is she talking about um that's hilarious though um let's go to i see i see ej winning so we have the best in the world shane mcmahon i can't because i'm not like greg hamilton who i always want to meet and i want him to like announce my my the wedding best if it in happens. the world <laughs> Such an asshole that was it. impressive though. <laughs> that <laughs> actually, I was like, "Whoa, she held that note." <laughs> so proud of you. Um, but you have Shane McMahon versus Kevin Owens, and if KO loses, he must quit WWE. AEW. I love this. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're an idiot. They gave us the winner. We know he's not quitting. Yeah, he's we so good right now. Listen, they've been talking about writing off Shane, so this is the absolute way of doing he wants it. To go home. He's fucking he tired. He's old. He shouldn't be tired. <laughs> you know what? Not for nothing. Yeah. I, even when I look back over the last even two years, two three years, like I'm, I've been super surprised at the consistency of Shane, especially because he came from not even wanting to deal with the business for years, mm-hmm. yeah, and then kind of coming back. <laughs> And, you know, going against Taker and Hell in a Cell. And then, you know, it, which was really, it was better than I thought it was going to be. I'm not even going <laughs> to hold you up to that. Um, 
but and then you know being in Saudi and all type of stuff like he's been kind of holding it down um whether you like Shane or not the consistency is there um and the storyline that they've been building around it has been really good so we all are agreeing that Kevin Owens will win yeah of course. okay yeah of course first of all Kevin Owens is adorable I think he's really cute you like him chunky I think he's really you, you know like I'm all about him. team thick she so. loves chunky men yeah <laughs> really no, it's not you. Oh, you me? Chunky oh, man. everybody knows I just, that. I just need you got a beard meat. and you about over 250. Yep. But you got a requirement weight. Not really per se, but I'm just saying, like, when you think of thick gums, you like. But what if you met, like, hot dude, thick beard, and then I'm by your the third date, he shaves the beard? Yo, oh, he's something creepy. Like he I, it. yeah, I was like <laughs> that. He actually doesn't have a dick. Like I really Whoa. thought like that was that was the route. I was like, what the what the hell are you talking like, wow. about? Who like, really like, Um, yeah. he can trim it, <laughs> but well, now what if he get naked face? Like, but why? My ex used to do that. Used to piss people do it so bad. He's yeah. like shave all of this for like right it's like here. The and like the worst. Like why would you do that? <laughs> That's your money maker. Why would you do that? But anyway, oh, he had a beautiful beard. Oh, he's Puerto Rican. Sorry. I ain't got no you know type. Who have the best type of beards, uh, Middle Eastern men. They have the best beards, but they stink. Be- I'm kidding. I'm totally kidding. I'm wow, <laughs> Tiana. <laughs> wow. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I promise. I'm totally. Kidding. She's not shit. Yo, she's not. Of us. She's dead ass. Like she's like, yep. That's how I really feel. But I don't want no backlash for it. So I'm J K J K. Bitch, we know you know J K J K. That was hilarious. I was seeing him like, yo, if you could have saw me in Haley's face at the same time, it's like, what? Like, why'd you say that? Because I was about to go on like, well, you know, they probably got really good conditioner because I've always wanted mm-hmm. to know what Roman uses for his hair as conditioner because that should be No, and I was in Dubai. They had really nice beards. I will say that. Yeah, there was have, one I'm guy. He was like 20. Nice and I was like, damn, you only 20 right now? Like, I was like, no, I'm not trying to go to jail don't anyway. Don't so you about to catch a whole case. <laughs> whole case. All right, let's move on to... The SmackDown Women's Championship match where we have Bailey versus Ember Moon. I think uh, I love Ember. I don't think she's gonna get it, but I want her to get it. Why you don't I think she's gonna to get, get her it? Hair done. Yep, 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 and yep. It didn't look that bad on Tuesday. Because I keep telling people, somebody <laughs> listening to what the fuck we be saying. Like, I'm, and it's not even a toot or, or, or my own horn or, or the Jabba Tears podcast horn, but like, legit, every time I done mention that girl hair, <laughs> her hair the next week is fucking laid. Like, laid to the gods. Like, stupid laid. She so, needs it. She definitely needs it. She needs some edge control. Like, that's really just what it is. So. Yo, that's a fact. Like, it's just, that. it's not even so much, like, you, yeah, you sweat, and, and it, it's understandable, and you don't have a full weave, which is understandable, or a lace so front queen wig. But she should get uh, something. Not full weaves here. But, <laughs> but <laughs> girl, you gotta get it together, like, Definitely. I'm not gonna go on a tangent again, because everybody gonna talk shit, but. I will I'm say, if you're saying. ever in New York, Ember, I know a girl that can do your oh, hair. Oh, I got a girl for you, girl. <laughs> she does both of our hair. She does both of our hair. <laughs> she can girl. do your hair. She gonna do my hair tomorrow. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> <laughs> and before I go on this birthday trip, so Amber, I got you next time you're in New York. Um, but you say Bailey. Yeah. I mean, it would be nice to throw it to Amber, but I don't know. They might gender Mahal it like out of nowhere, give it to her. I feel like someone's gonna screw Bailey. I'm not gonna say who, but I feel like somebody is going to screw Bailey. Think she coming back? You talking about, are you talking about? Think somebody? I mean, I would. I need it's, to see her on my television. It's Canada. Day. Somebody got to get screwed. That's true. Canada's the land. You of. think Sasha? Sasha's hair is still black, bro. It's ripping Girl. off. It's I a mean, wig, it's a wig. Bro. Yeah. Yeah, I'm about, about to be like, uh, yourself. do we not understand that we could get a whole full color head, head wig the day of? Maybe mm-hmm. not. That's true. Um, or she could come back black hair. Like I don't. Yeah, and I, I think would, that's. Oh, that'd be so I think cool. that's black what people and, like. like yeah, and that's the thing I think people like don't think about. It's like. The purple hair doesn't define mm-hmm. Sasha Banks at all. But let that bitch roll in with black hair. Right. That's a different persona. And be a heel. Mm-hmm. That'd be so fucking dope. Please but I, I actually see Ember winning on know. Sunday. Because uh, y'all know I'm all about black, te- black excellence. But mm-hmm. I, think, I think that, once again, the opportunity, because you see, you, you saw in the Royal Rumble, she was, you know, eliminating bitches, getting up there, getting up there, and then, you know, 
didn't lose, didn't didn't win. <laughs> and then I wish she did win instead of the other person. That's neither here nor there. Um, I just feel like the, the 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 world that she's been on. I think it could be it could be time. It could. Be. I don't know. What do you think, Tati? Do you, Bailey versus Ember. <sighs> I'm not really a fan of Ember. Why? I don't know. I just don't like. I feel like. I used to like her like she first came and then like I was like she didn't do it for me. I was like, okay. Do you think it's as Haven mentioned earlier, do you think it was the translation of her NXT character? Because yeah. I actually did watch her NXT. Roster? I did watch her NXT and then like she was here. I was like, yes, and I was like, This is like lackluster. Yeah, yeah it Quickly was like low steam. Yeah. I mean her theme song is great though. It is. I like I like the theme, like her eyes and stuff. Like I mm-hmm. love that, but like it reminds me of Twilight. I like, could do I could do without it. I'm not even gonna hold you to it. Like it's just like <laughs> I like her. I like supernatural yeah. stuff. So it's different. Oh. <laughs> you the queen of different now over there. I gotta I gotta I gotta rip her. She out here living her best life on the beach, looking like a little mermaid. I know. I'm okay. a mermaid. Okay. Okay. It's a good day. It's a good day. See, there you go. I'm going back. Next, no, not this Tuesday, but next Tuesday. Okay, there you See go. See you next Tuesday. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to be at work. Shut up. I won't be at work next Tuesday. I don't start work yet. There you go. Oh, well, hey. Okay. <laughs> I'm Carter now. So, oh. But um, then let's go into the Raw Women's Championship match where we have Natalia versus boring Becky the man Lynch. Woo! Um, that was a great introduction. Boring? Natalia's boring. Not what? Becky. Man, listen, everyone, listen, at least with Natty, you know what you're getting yourself into. You know you're getting grandma. <laughs> like, like, you, you know you're getting grandma. You know you getting grandma Natty that yeah. takes care of the locker room and all and that other cats. jazz. Like, you know that. You get, you, you, what you see is what you get. That's a fact. You watch Total Divas, you see who Natty is. Right, like, and I think, yo, but that, yo, could you imagine them doing Total Divas and having Becky and Seth on there? I would actually like that. Whoa. That would be so, so boring because Seth and Becky are fucking trash as a couple. That's, I think they don't, they're just awkward that's, on TV. That's a... Th- it smells like hate over there, man. <laughs> <laughs> smells like someone jealous. <laughs> me, 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 me. I'm just saying she wasn't in the ambulance when Brock attacked him. Get over I, yourself. I would have been there, okay? I'd have been in the ambulance. I'd have been you in Brock's face, you like life. You back wanna. up. You she wanna. stood there and was like, "Oh, you're being real the way." Like you, you wouldn't. Have she got to hold ambulance. down the fort, right? What fort? She the champion. <laughs> she the champion in the household. What the fuck you mean? <laughs> but um, do you see Natty winning in her home country, or do you see the man? quotations becky lynch retaining her title i don't think natty's gonna win her home though i don't think I don't natty's either. gonna win gold before she retires honestly wow. like i don't she, see it yo her. when she Ooh. won that was a summer slam was it two years ago that was here shocking. that shit was wild again. like i just don't see her winning again i don't know she's she's good because she'll good. have like hot little like you know like, little like you know man. and then like you'd be like where like and Paige was like natty do you even work her anyway <laughs> like i was like yo does she like oh, that happens quite often with yeah, natty. Yeah. like does she still work there you you don't know i mean but the little firecracker that's been on raw for the past few weeks like it's been good. her like literally she ran in the ring and i thought she was gonna say um becky like she normally do that bitch Picked her up and put it in a sharpshooter. I said, "Oh, <laughs> that's oh, she on yeah. that time." Yeah. And then last, then this past Monday when she first of all she pushed Trish Stratus. I said, "Yeah, I was oh. like, oh. that was some playground push." But no bullshit though. If that lead, if that leads to Natalia versus Trish Stratus, I'm here for it. WWE, mm-hmm. Survivor not series. not lying about that. But <laughs> um, so you say who? Um, I don't know. You think her and Trish are both going to lose or win in their hometown? One has to lose. Or you think they're going to do a win? Well, my opinion is because, and if you have not watched the trailer, I'm not into video games and all that jazz, but 2K20 <laughs> will be released in October, <laughs> and it's with not only Roman Reigns on the cover, but Becky Lynch on the cover. And because she's on that cover is mm. the only reason why I see her walking out of Toronto as champion. I definitely don't see her dropping it. If she drops it, it definitely won't be into Survivor Series or okay. or even Royal Rumble. If so we're you gonna see push Trish it. and Natalya both losing. Oh, yeah. we want Trish to win. No, I actually want Trish to <laughs> no, win. No, I want though. Trish to win. I'm saying, but I feel like, I don't but as you is. know, that whole like no one wins in their hometown country slash thing. <laughs> I think that's what you know. Yeah, it's what it's what it is. But I feel like one has to lose, one has to win. So let, let, let Nanny win, lose and Trish win. I'm yeah, definitely can, okay yeah. with that. Yeah, I'm uh, solid. I mean, yeah, even though I'm not a Becky Lynch fan, and it's not happening not on this side of town. I but some orange hair. What? Cause y'all out here hating Becky. I, no, I didn't say I hate her hair. I mean, I do, but <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, shit. 
<laughs> say hey, hey, no, hey, I mean I'm it. just I'm just listen. I'm I'm at the top of the fort saying keep the same energy. I wasn't fucking with you in NXT. <laughs> you was not oh, my favorite. Never liked her. You was never my favorite four horse woman at with all. You in last year I wasn't shooting okay. with you in the gym. So no, yeah. we not we not gonna do that. I mean, I'm do not gonna I, text you. Hey, do big I head. think like <laughs> that's mad funny? <laughs> do you do I think the character has evolved? But guess what? It only really evolved because Nia Jax punched her in the fucking face. Yo, that was so funny. Who right. is Nia? Nia injured. I did you say who she is rehabbing. Nia? I was like, you know who she is now? She rehabbing, yeah, yeah. So after, what was it? Yeah, after WrestleMania. Okay. I think she, she either had cool. surgery or she had, yeah. Mm-hmm. She had, she is injured, so. But I heard she's at the performance center rehabbing, so. Never know. Never know. But I say Becky. Todd, what do you say? Boring Becky. Okay. I like I like that. Just the name, boring <laughs> Becky. It's messed up. I have to get some shirts to say that. Oh, yo, get me one. I got you. Damn. <laughs> All right, let's go to. Um, I'm gonna actually do the reverse. I'm gonna do Brock Lesnar versus Seth Rollins for the eighth <clears throat> hundred thousand time for the Universal Championship. If Seth wins, it's super unrealistic because he got he got murdered two weeks in a row. He's, he's he's walking out. My ribs, but could it be? Could hips. it? Could it give him that? Would you be hit by a by a, a chair and a gurney? I'll be making fun of him. Yo, hips. when that nigga slid <laughs> slid him out of that ambulance, that was, was the like, funniest thing over. ever. That was the funniest <laughs> thing ever. <laughs> like he went on a roller coaster ride. <laughs> <was> legit. Like, <laughs> 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 he wrote, yo, it was a perfect ass roll because Brock, I think sometimes I know his own fucking strength. Mm-hmm. So I think when he pulled him out, that shit could either went one or two ways. <laughs> it could have flipped over or it went the way it, w- it was supposed to go. Yeah, yeah. So he rolled his ass down. But is it unrealistic that now, like, because come on, like, everyone knows the whole Super Cena situation. Like, is it really that unrealistic that you get your ass beat two weeks in a row and you come back and win? Seth is not Cena. Seth mm-hmm. against Brock, yes. If it was Cena, maybe. If it was Roman, yeah. But Seth? Did you really just hype Roman up? She did. Yes. She Who did. Had on the low. Title run at uh, all. On the low. She matter. snuck He's that shit star. in. <laughs> she snuck that shit in. Like, I was sitting here like, I was sitting here like, what? I got to rep. I got to rep. Listen, Seth, I don't believe it. He's, he, all right. He got beat so bad. It's not like it was like a back and forth. No, he just got destroyed. Two weeks in a row. I'm staring at you really hard right now. That's all right. You big man. Seth got hurt. He is hurt. He's not winning. If he win, I'm like, Do you Come know on. Roman has lost against Brock Lesnar? Yeah, that's nice. Times. It doesn't no, matter. I'm you know that. I know, but Seth, you know that. Seth got let, destroyed. Let her know that. Destroyed. He never destroyed Roman like that. He Yo, mauled I'm mad. Seth. I'm mad you didn't mention how fucking Seth cashed in. That's okay. At WrestleMania. He did. That's that's guy. But Roman is still a bigger star, so it doesn't even matter. Why? Because his we're, cousin we're is the rock? Not, no, we're definitely not getting, star. We're definitely not going to get into that conversation. Because his cousin's the rock? I mean, like, and he gets paid more. Because so. his cousin's the rock? Oh, you know what Seth wanted to talk about? Nepotism? get paid? Nepotism? But Roman gets paid more than him? Nepotism? It doesn't matter. Your man brought it up. Oh. You know, he did. And you know what? It's okay. He had to apologize. Somebody yelled at him. <laughs> 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 To be continued. <laughs> but yeah, I'm like, oh, we can have this Roman Reigns conversation all fucking day long. Because trust me, I can go for it. But <laughs> I'm not going to. So you say Brock. I say Brock. I say Brock. Because what would have been the point of giving him money to bank if he wasn't going to keep the title a little longer? So And he just renewed his one. He just renewed to a whole new, another year contract. Yeah, so, mm-hmm. um, he getting yeah. dollars. Brock getting this money. He really is. Though. He getting that. He getting like states money and Saudi money. Like, yeah. man, First of all, he gets a hundred thousand a a show, a, sh- a, a episode of Raw, crazy. like, and then gets anyway, half a no gets half a mil million dollars for doing a pay per view. Yo, he's, he's so what? So it, if you okay, so question to you guys: If you were fucking Brock Lesnar and that was the pay rate, you got a hundred k. All this about I was fucking him. I no, was like, Ew. I don't. I mean, stuff in my head. I don't need to have there, yo. I was like, I wouldn't. Uh, am I getting paid? Rock? <laughs> uh, what? He's Told you I like a big. Like, uh, he is. Nah, I would smash the fuck out of Braun though. That is definite. <laughs> oh, we know. We know. <laughs> that is definite. But, uh, but imagine you, if you were Brock, and every Raw you got a hundred k. But every pay per view, you got a half a million dollars. Would you be on Raw every week, or would you come once a month to get almost a hundred k more than what you would have got to doing the whole month? 
I'm gonna do it all. Yeah. Especially because he comes to real. He don't really do much. He don't really lift a finger sometimes. Sometimes he just there to stand, hop around. <laughs> I'm there. You said hop around. I'm here to <laughs> hop around, and I get a hundred thousand. I'm there every row. Yeah, but you get five hundred. You I'm get doing everything. half a mil. I'm doing pay per view. My nigga, <laughs> the the smart person. I'm doing the half a mil. I'm doing the you gonna get me once a month type shit because I'm not gonna continue to. to, to like you're a lazy worker. Though. Fuck up, <laughs> not, but I'm not gonna fuck up my whole body, and I'm not the same. Like Brock is not Brock from 2001. It, he's not. But he don't do nothing. He don't, he do don't be nothing. taking beatings. He he can hand out beatings for ten mm. more years. He never really gets beat like that. So, who do you think's been the biggest like challenge for Brock Lesnar? When you think about it. I'm gonna sit here and say Roman. Nah. Oh. <laughs> Bitch. I was like, that's like me saying um, stuff. You can't. Yeah, like, like I mean, you mean realistically or just on TV? No, like that has happened. Like who, who has given Brock a run for his money? Mm. It wasn't Joe. I feel like it should have been Joe. Joe was de- Joe was definitely top three. I don't know. I'm a, listen, I'm gonna sit here and say Roman. You can't. Roman beat him. All right. Yeah, she's saying I'm saying Whatever. Seth. Roman beat him. No, I mean Braun did a good job. <laughs> Y'all niggas has got to be realistic. Like what the fuck? Braun did a good we job. We just gonna totally ignore John Cena. Did not fuck him up in Extreme Rules. Oh, like I we just. I was gonna John. say so we John not, Cena. So we not gonna say that. We not gonna talk about that. But okay. She said Roman. So I was like, all I about gotta, I gotta write Rollins. Like, I'm like, come on. No, I mean I think Cena. I think <laughs> come Cena. on. You know I love me some Cena. But Joe gave him a run for his money, and then I was talking to shout out to 360 Culture um, that I was on there. Um, season finale of this past Monday um, and they asked me like what was your like top match of this year so far and I couldn't even think of anything but the match that stuck out to me was fucking Brock Lesnar and it wasn't even this year it was Brock Lesnar versus Daniel Bryan Survivor Series last year yeah, that, was good. that to me he, Daniel Bryan showed the fuck up and I think <laughs> people don't give him that, that credit for that match in particular um, or in general I really love Daniel Bryan mm. Daniel Bryanson <laughs> oh Brian Danielson. I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, who are you talking about? <laughs> I think Brock is interesting because he gives like small guys really good matches, and then bigger guys, it's like, yeah, no. Because he's like, you're mm-hmm. big too, and I'm supposed to yeah, do. No. But uh, not nah, the da- match with him and Daniel Bryan was good. I like the match with him and AJ. Yeah. Yep. Um, Seth was cool. Nah, it was alright. No, his, not at Mania. No, the no. match at with Seth Cena. And uh, uh Lesnar, that yeah, one, that was, good. that one was like the one at gold. Mania was trash. Yeah. I like, I will say, I like the fact that it opened WrestleMania. Mm-hmm. I, I love that that was the opening yeah. match, but yeah. just the the way that it was produced was trash. Like it, it I mean, it, it whatever. Like it wasn't realistic <laughs> to me. I'm sorry, sorry, Seth. But like for you to sit here and do three curb stomps and then you pin them and then you run to the top and you spin the belt in the air and wave it like you just don't care. That shit just not. I don't cut I it mean, for he me. hit him in his balls for you, too. Huh? Doesn't he? And he low blowed him. Yeah. He Shinsuke Nakamura him. He did. Wow. wow. He should um, patent that move. That's really his Facts. move. Facts. <laughs> All right. So you say Brock. I say Brock. I want Seth to win, but I'm going to be realistic. Thank you. <laughs> I'm all about realism. And it probably will be stupid Brock Lesnar and his stupid red face and his stupid F5s. Yo, F5 is actually a dope move. It is, but no, he's stupid. That shit, yo, that shit hurt. <laughs> I've actually been F five before. Why? I don't actually. I this, don't want to get into that. Yeah, I, I, I did actually. <laughs> you, you saw the twinkle, it, the twinkle in her eye it, told you the story. So but I said, it ended actually, with the bed being broken. But <laughs> wow, no bueno. Wow, this is why you gotta have warranties and shit. <laughs> yo, that's a fact. <laughs> well, all right, let's um, cap off our summer sand prediction with. My champion, your champion, your WWE champion, Kofi Kingston. Yes. Versus the Viper, Randy, Randall, Keith. Randy, Keith, <laughs> Orton. <laughs> like, I swear I want Greg Hamilton to announce him that whole, his whole fucking government. That shit would kill me That'd to the crazy. fucking T. Um, and then also, if you have not, you know, I mentioned earlier, SummerSlam was last in Toronto in 2004. But 2004, t- SummerSlam was actually the year... Randy Orton became the youngest world champion where he defeated Chris Benoit. Um, so is history going to repeat itself? No. Facts. I don't want it to at all. So I think Facts. it shouldn't. Like Since like that whole like promo, like, he was like, I heard rumbling that it was you that stopped my push and blah. Like, now he got to <laughs> sit valid. there. And, no, I'm not making fun of him. I'm saying, like, no, no, now, no. I was saying like. like now he got to sit there and be like, eat this. Exactly. Take this shit, nigga. Like, you know, like, and fuck people, you. Like, people love Kofi right now. 
Kofi is hot. He's like, been on a really great match. I mean, you yeah. got people. I mean, there are once again, you can't please everybody, and mm. people are gonna say, you know, he's a stale champion, and you know, he hasn't had you know great defeats and things like that. But has he had really great challengers? No. And I think he's out of challenges and stuff, he's beat a lot of people. out of all the. But I mean. Once again, this is just internet wrestling community talking shit and stuff like that. But honestly, I think this match is the premier match because it's the match that he has the most history with. Yeah. It tells the most long fairy tale story. Like he, his story was already a fairy tale, but this is like you know when you watch like Beauty um, and the Cinderella, Beast. Oh. <laughs> like Beauty oh. and the Beast, when like the Beast stabs Garcon and he falls off, like. Kofi's the beast. No shade because he's black. <laughs> no. Sleep. Gaston wow. is uh, Randall <laughs> Keith Orton. And he Randall. <laughs> um, so we all can, I guess, be in agreement that we we not only want, but we think that Kofi Kingston will continue to rise to the top. Cream of the crop. Hashtag macho. Um, <laughs> that he will um, walk out of Toronto as your WWE champion. Um, but I am excited. I think that I, I would... I need WWE to not, you know, giving Randy the title doesn't do anything. It's the same like when you guys gave him the title at WrestleMania in Orlando. I know why and I got it, but at the time it was like, what is he going to do with it? Who is he going to, who is he challenging? You know what I mean? Like, what are we doing here? So I think that, you know, once again, every fairy tale has its ending and I think the ending will happen in Toronto with Kofi winning. Uh, but then my question to you ladies is, who do you think Kofi's next opponent will be? John if Cena. he wins, no, what the fuck? <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm totally kidding. Yo, I actually, <laughs> not, actually not, wanted not bad. That, okay. Not bad, but guess what? Cena will have to be a little bit of a heel to do that. Hmm. I wouldn't mind that, but. I wouldn't mind that. True. That's wild. If that Could you imagine John Cena versus Kofi? Like for the WWE. I like, would love that what? actually. I was joking, but I believe it like. Loki no, like that, that was actually a really good <laughs> joke. I was saying like, bitch, what? John Cena? <laughs> you should pull that out your ass. But that was actually a really good one because it just. I wouldn't, wouldn't mind think that. It. that might be really good. I wouldn't mind What that. else do you think? Who you think will be his. That's not his next opponent, but that was a good one. <laughs> I was like, what? Fucked me up. I was like, what? Hmm. He's on SmackDown. He's on SmackDown. And keep in mind, SmackDown will be going live on Fox starting in October. And I really, really hope WWE keeps my WWE champion the same because mm. I think. I wouldn't mind seeing a finisher, finishing match of like him versus Seth either because at the role, I was enjoying it. Oh, that raw after yeah. WrestleMania, yeah, like that I was, was tight though. Yeah, I was like, that was just a good match. Nah, but, but I was sick though because I was just like, I remember sitting there and like being, yo, are they really gonna make Seth fucking Rollins a dual champion too? Like his shorty, like, yeah, what are we crazy. doing? Are you gonna take away my? Black I don't want it. For, I don't so need bad? it for a, a belt. I just I mean, even if it was whatever. I just want them to fight again. I just want them to wrestle again because okay. I thought it was like really good. Um. So there you have it, ladies. Last question before we end off. And say our farewells. Um, there is rumors of after SummerSlam, WWE doing a complete 180 in a sense and doing another draft. Hmm. Jesus Christ. And in doing that, um, who do you think would switch brands again? Who do you think? Because there are certain people I feel that are on Raw that really should be on SmackDown and vice versa. So who are you like your top three people that you would swap brands with? Um, if they were to do another draft <laughs> or another trade or whatever they want to call it, I want the Usos on SmackDown. With I was Roman. thinking that, yeah. Okay, yeah. I want them, but Roman be on Raw, so it don't matter, honestly. <laughs> but, um, no, but he's he's right now he's on SmackDown, so but he be I, on I Raw. Like that him and <laughs> AJ switch, like I like that. I need yes, him to stay I on SmackDown. definitely AJ would prefer AJ on Raw. I absolutely agree. Um, I don't know. I'm I'm just gonna go ooh. No, nah, I think I'm just gonna go with the Usos because Finn is on SmackDown. A lot. Where's Elias? SmackDown. Yeah, I like that. Okay. I, I like. Ooh, but Drew. Drew should probably come to SmackDown too. He's still on Raw, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I think bring Drew. He got my match. I think I'll probably interfere with uh, Shane. Well, no, they probably. I mean, they got shout out. You know what? Shout out to WWE for highlighting Cedric Alexander. I'm all about that. Yeah. I don't give a I fuck if he too. gets beat up every fucking week. Guess what? My <laughs> man gets TV time. Yep. He gets recognition. He out here selling moves. Mm-hmm. Like he's doing the damn thing. He's showing that he is more than a fucking nigga that's old. That is two hundred and five pounds, and I respect that shit. So and he's fine in person. He don't look two hundred and five pounds. He's married. 
I didn't say I was going to marry him or anything. I'm just saying, I'm just saying uh, he was fine. In he's married to like my spirit. He's married to my spirit animal, so you can't talk like you can't oh, talk like that. Who was Ariel that? Monroe. Oh. She's another wrestler. She works on the independent scene. Shout out to Ariel. Is Monroe. that that Puerto Rican girl you took a picture of? No, the fuck. She's a <laughs> whole ass black lady. <laughs> whole ass black lady. <laughs> my bad. Wow. Learn your learn your wrestlers. I'm sorry. That's your homework for next <laughs> next big four. Okay. Learn, learn, learn your wrestlers. <laughs> All right. So you say Usos. Usos and Drew. And Drew should be on SmackDown. Okay. Tati, what do you think? Who would you swap over if 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 this imaginary draft happens? Well, I don't know. <laughs> Damn. I don't know because I like how it is now. I mean, like Alexa Bliss is like going to be on back and forth probably because she because she got the yeah, titles. She's yeah. titles. Uh, who else? I'm thinking of who else. I can't think of anybody. Bray is on Raw, right? Yes. Yeah. Do I want him to stay on Raw? Yes. Do <laughs> I? I do. Yeah. The one person I would swap um, that's on Raw that I really feel like would um, kind of be better on SmackDown is Ricochet. It's the only person that... Oh, yeah. No bullshit. Wait, where's Braun? Braun's on, on Raw. Raw. Oh, okay. Ricochet is the only person that I would want to be on SmackDown because if I uh, no bullshit if I could get Ricochet versus Kofi Kingston I'm I'm here for it. Oh, that would be all the way here for it. Yeah. Um, the other a lot of flips in that match. Um, person. <laughs> um, no Bailey on SmackDown works. Um, I would probably swap Naomi back on SmackDown. Mm. And Isn't not on Raw? Raw. She's on Raw now because well, man's, man's on Raw. But, but if in Haven's so world, bad. if we move the Usos <laughs> to SmackDown, I we heard they Naomi. might hate that if he don't fix his like, act, Jimmy. He'll mm-hmm. lose her. Like, they're going to get divorced. That's a little rumor. But, I mean, listen, marriage is for better or for worse. Figure it out. But, <laughs> but that nigga needs some help for real, for real. He, he like, is wilding out there. Uber. Lyft. <laughs> It's not that hard. They like, yo, the like, walk. <laughs> like, turn. Like, you just turn up, like, for no, like, no reason. Like Maybe she can't deal with it. Maybe he drinks too much. That's a lot. <laughs> Even. <laughs> I'm saying it might not just be because he's getting in DUIs. It might be because it's just too much. Maybe he does it at home, too. On the road. Wow. I Tatiana. don't know. Really? I'm really not. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Absolutely, you're the worst. But That's um, just like the bed breaking? <laughs> Yeah, I'm gonna throw that back at you. Yeah, let's throw that on you. Let's oh do that. I'm gonna throw that right back at you. Don't do that. Don't do that, dog. <laughs> um, but yeah, there so was so much passion in her voice that she was saying. <laughs> because Cause it's the truth, though. She seems though. like a strong black woman. She ain't trying. She not here for this shit. Yo, you ain't seen that episode where she was just like, "Listen, I want to get an apartment in Atlanta. Like my family's there. Mm-hmm. Like blah blah blah." At that that episode, I was like, "Oh, this shit going. This yeah, shit. Not, this shit may not end right." Yeah, I was like, Whoo. like I was concerned, but <laughs> she was, but. They they worked it out. They spoke about it. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I wonder when Total Divas is coming back on next year. No, no, next like, year. Later, I think it's later this year because the Bella's coming back next. Because keeping up with the Kardashians, because they typically fit, they 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 stop during the summer and they restart in the fall, and then really typically after it, Kardashians is when Total Divas come on TV. I think Total Divas is gonna be in the fall. Right now it's like um, the this big uh, Chloe show. Because yeah, they have what's her face. Um, Mandy Rose chick, the other one. Sonya Deville. Yeah, she's on. She's yeah. supposed to be on Total Divas. Oh, she's okay. And I know the Bellas is coming back 2020, so I know Total Divas mm. coming back this year. Okay, good, good, good. <laughs> um, and then breaking news was today too. Before we do sign off, um, Ballers and fucking Power comes back on premieres the same fucking night, and it's annoying as shit. But um, <laughs> anybody that watches Ballers on HBO with The Rock, it's a really, really great show. Um, it does come back on TV. Um, at the end of this month in August, in time for fall. Um, ladies, this has been fun. It's been cool. We should have had some wine, champagne. Yeah, no, next, time, next time, bring next time it's about to be an episode. Like <laughs> the next big four is gonna be an episode of like drink champs for real, for real. Like, <laughs> mark my words, I'm gonna get some Probably bottles. Bottle. I'm gonna get a, I'm, I'm gonna get a small personal of honey. Um, get I'm gonna get a bottle of wine for you know my ladies because you know they <laughs> may not drink like, fuck tequila. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Fuck tequila. But anyway, <laughs> tequila. Um, before we end, um, let's do a round robin of where to find you ladies at and um, any upcoming projects or anything you want to talk about real quick. Um, You can find me in St. Louis rolling on the... Do- nah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was um, like, you- what? <laughs> I was going to be like, you can find me in your dreams, but she just <laughs> oh really... Oh <laughs> my gosh. My bad, my bad. What type of <laughs> it shit you got going on over here? Like, I'm going to find you. can really? find me in your dreams. What? <laughs> She's crazy. Um, That's YouTube, creepy. You can find me on YouTube, Haven Rain. Um, you know, Twitter, Instagram, 
H A E V Y N R A Y. I was like, what is she saying? <laughs> She's saying her name. Listen, Shit. <laughs> listen, you'll find me somehow. You'll figure it out. And um, nah, I just started making videos again. So good. What, She's a rapper. Weekly. What? She's not a rapper. <laughs> yo, yo, nah. I'm about to say, oh shit, bitch, for real, you rapper. Definitely rapping. not. Definitely not. Oh, uh, well, welcome back to recording. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I had to get a Mac because my old laptop was just it was over. Not doing it for you. Nah. And the so, um, yeah, they had to make the way I wanted it because I needed more RAM and stuff. So that shit took forever. <laughs> wow. So now um, I'm back. Now I'm back. she back, back, ladies and back gentlemen. Back better than ever. I'm back. <laughs> I'm back. Yeah. All right. So and. So once again, you can um, subscribe to her YouTube page. Support, support, support. Subscribe. You can find video. it on yourself. I'm kidding. <laughs> what type of? But, uh, uh, what was that song? Oh, catch me! Was it catch me through the phone? No, the Soldier Boy song. That's what made me think of that. Kiss me through, Kiss the, me through the phone. Kiss me through the phone. That's what it was. I was like, catch me through you the phone. You know the one I miss you. No, no, no. Okay. That's a classic song. Even though I'm not, you know, big, everyone gets big on Soulja Boy sometimes. I'd be like, mm-hmm. but the old shits, like when he was 16 and I was 16, mm-hmm. that shit was popping. <laughs> um, Miss Tatiana, tell the viewers where to find you in any upcoming projects you may You can be find having. me in your dreams as Charmaine. No, I'm kidding. I thought you said, oh. you could find me in the club, bottle full of butt. That's what I thought you was going to start singing. I was I mean, like, what? Okay, I'm sorry. Um, oh, come give me a yo. That yo. Let me tell you, your Fifty Cent songs are fucking hilarious. Like I have the. <laughs> they most, came on a barbecue outside. On Saturday. I have <laughs> the most obnoxious ongoing joke with a certain individual that lives in South Carolina that I will not name, but I will say he's from South Carolina. And yo, we if you ever listen to fucking Window Shopper, <laughs> it is for lyric for lyric one of the funniest it is. fucking songs 50 cent i think has ever written in his life <laughs> like so just lis- i know i shot it. him like is it eight times or nine times god yeah, he's an asshole oh, he's a real asshole. like he he's is. a fucking gemini is he i think so wow no he's a cancer oh i know he's a cancer no he's a cancer which makes a lot of sense <laughs> um but yes you can find me on instagram <laughs> at t-a-t-y-a-n-a-t-a-y-l-o-r and um, I will be coming out with a podcast pretty soon with the other girl that's here, not Jenna. Um, <laughs> not Jenna. Wow. Wow. <laughs> yo, shout out to yo. Side note, shout out to Jenna and shout out to Chrissy, <laughs> um, who has done you know other previous big four episodes. I will have those ladies back and then in color. Um, Maybe and all of us. Oh God, that'll word. be too much actually. <laughs> but um, or we may have some new ladies too. Like I mean, once again. It, this is just a platform for us as women to come together and speak about wrestling. So um, it's never, you know, just it's it's not a one woman show. It's it's, it's all of our shows. So, so just want to keep support, support. Yes, but yeah, me and Chrissy are doing a show together. Whoa, talk about it. So I mean, it's just that I just been lazy. <laughs> so like I have everything typed out. Like literally, can you we stop? just stop. I know Please I really need to get like my life stop? together. But I have everything typed out. We're doing a podcast together about like relationships because like she's married. She's married. Yeah, and I'm not happily married. Yeah, she's happily married. Two kids. So it's gonna be like mom. yeah. She her kids are cool. They're cute. Um, she has cool. boys too, like me. Yeah, so two like, boys. Yeah, she has two boys. I have a boy. So yeah, we're gonna do like a different view. Compare and yeah. contrast. Yeah. So that'll be cool. It should be coming out, if not the end of this month, definitely by the middle of September. So just say fall 2019. Yeah, fall, fall 2019. That just that soon. just covers everything. Okay, yeah, fall fall 2019. It sounds more professional. Fall. In the world yeah, full yeah. of X's and O's, you come are to annoying. girls. Yeah. <laughs> what? Out here talking, sounding like Mr. Movie Phone. Shut the fuck up. Anyway, um, I do once again want to thank Haven and Tatiana, the original Big Four OG uh, members, uh, my NWO. <laughs> um, it's like you guys are the NWO, and then Jenna and Chrissy are NWO Wolfpack for hey. me. So <laughs> I think it's super dope. Uh, so thank you, ladies, for coming. What are you doing? Are you, what are you doing? Oh, what she's out here Stop doing. putting out gang signs. What the fuck is wrong with you? I was doing OG3. Um, Oh, <laughs> just write that down. Yeah. Um, but as I mentioned, Friday, um, catch you know, catch all of us and, and all of the wrestling fans at H O G um at Amazora in Jamaica Queens. Um so shout outs to Amazing Red and everybody, Brian XL, everybody at House of Glory for putting on a phenomenal show, SummerSlam a weekend every year. It's there it's like they're Big, it's like their WrestleMania, yeah. basically high intensity. Um, so I do believe some tickets are still on sale. General admissions. Um, so be there. There's the meet and greet, so you can meet Bucks. Um, for a fucking and lot Scott of money. Hall. Um, and you can meet Hall of Famer Scott Hall. Um, so once again, that's Friday night. Then Saturday we'll be at Legends watching NXT Takeover Toronto. Um, and then um, Sunday is the big day. It's the day we've all been waiting for. <laughs> My wedding day. No, bitch, sit down. Um, it's, um, 
<laughs> Peter Rosenberg's oh Cheap God. Heat Live with that guy Greg at 5.30. And then following that, he will be hosting our SummerSlam viewing party. Um, so once again, RCP, if you have not already, um, we are going to close that list super duper soon. So, um, but once again, thank you ladies for joining me. Thank you. Those that are watching on Facebook live, um, uh, for tuning in on a Wednesday night. Um, so we hope to put this episode up on YouTube within the next few days. So tell a friend to tell a friend to look out. Um, the next big four, once again, will be for survivor series. Honestly, I, I may not be here cause I'm planning on going to survivor series. So, um, it's in Chicago and you know, Chicago got a sweet spot for me. So, and I've never, and my goal was actually war games. So like I may actually fly out for war games and fly back, but that's neither here nor there. But, um, the wow. next big four will be. <laughs> um in november so stay tuned for that um the java tears podcast we will be back next week i do believe we may have no we don't have a guest oh we have yaya um your pwx champion calling in um to talk about you know his title reign and also talk about his career and what he has going on next um and then also um bcw 25 um is next friday um, in the Bronx, so support independent wrestling and then the following weekend we have warriors in Brooklyn um, so shout outs to Isaiah Wolf and Marcus Marquis. Prolific is real and it's happening. Um, and then um, last but not least, once again, Battle Club Pro, they are having one of the biggest cards in independent wrestling in New York the same day as New Japan invades the Harmerstein Ballroom, the Manhattan Center. So before you want to head over there, you want to head to Brooklyn. Um, as of right now, they announced three matches. Um, you have Jordan Grace versus Darius Carter. You have um, Tessa Blanchard versus... Um, what's the boy name? Anthony Bowens, who is their champion. Um, I drew in the illest blank just for a second. And then um, you have Shotzi, who shout outs to her. Did you just chop him? That's weird. Shout outs to Shotzi, <laughs> who I never even knew who she was until I watched Evolve 10 year anniversary show. And she gave one hell of a match. Um, and she's going against Mac McIntosh. So once again, shout outs to Joe Keen and everybody at Battle Club Pro. Um, we are their premier sponsor podcast. So it is always our honor to. I already, I already actually said, said that. that. You're late. Your lady. Already said that because I already know how you feel. <laughs> um, so shout out to Joe Keen and the whole team at Battle Club Pro. Um, as always, you can catch us at the Java Tears Podcast, um, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook. Um, that is about it. So once again, thank you, ladies, for joining me. Yay. As always, I am Janelle from HR, and I was joined by the lovely Haven and the phenomenal <laughs> Tatiana. Um, hashtag Black Excellence. Hashtag We're Out. Hashtag Black Girls Rock. Yay. Hashtag Black Girl Magic. <laughs> there you go. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. oh, my hair. That's why I put my hair up today. I was like, because I knew I had to put on. I can't it put happened. this up. Oh, I'm starving. You and me both. Julio's mad, girl. Hmm? <laughs> you said Julio's is mad, girl. I was like, oh, what's what? Julio's? It's the Jabba's Tears Podcast.